Yeah. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another session of The Lost Song of Fandelver here on the Swindler's Den Twitch channel. I shouldn't have touched the camera. It's just, the camera's not cooperating today, guys. It really hates me. Um, welcome, 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 one and all. Uh, this is our one and only show on the channel currently. Uh, sorry. <laughs> just kidding. Um, oh my god, that was a great Canadian impression there, Chris. Oh, sorry there, eh? <laughs> so, uh, here with me today eh, is uh, Equal is Not Funny there. Hi, hi there, eh? It's me, <laughs> Equal, eh? Sorry there, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, you can check him out on his Twitch where he was streaming some Pokemans. Uh, I was streaming some Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up next, we got the one and only Tommy Taco. Hey, I play Tommy Taco. I mean, hey. I am Tommy Taco, and I play, play Zorak. <laughs> it's me, the Fox. Technically, fun. Tommy Taco's not his birth name, so he also plays Tommy Taco. Yes, it is. It is, in fact, a character that I conceived in my mind while eating a taco. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I play Zorak. Great. <laughs> Uh, up next is uh, Black Square. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hey I'm sorry. there. Black Rectangle. Ooh. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a Black Square. There he. Okay, Baka Zombie. Baka Zombie. <laughs> Baka Zombie's me. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys again someday. Who knows? And maybe you'll see me. By the way, everybody, I, I didn't tell Baka to do this. I, he just keeps doing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't want to be distracting from my my wonderful co-players as they're role playing. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Today's one of those days. And last but not least, Zelda Nerd, nineteen eighty-eight. Hi, I'm Zelda Nerd. I play Aelin, and these guys are doing great Canadian impressions. And as the sole Canadian here, uh, but not. For Amoris, uh, yeah, there was a, a Canadian, a couple of Canadians on Amoris. I miss that show, Equa. Bring it back. What's no, that show? Never heard of it. Kill it. Leave it dead. I don't think that show exists. Wow, we were all just so mean there. It's dead. It's yeah. gone. Leave it in the grave. <laughs> but uh, I still have feels. Thank you all for tuning in to this episode, session number twenty. You guys made it. We're officially. Um, past our season one episode amount uh which i believe was 18 and then 19 for the for the talk at the end so very cool season one ended on 19 we're past that we're 20 episodes deep you guys are not even close to the end it seems like at this point unless um, every one of us dies it will right be the end of the series one so, down three to go so uh last session you guys um you dealt with the, or Ivrin dealt with the re repercussions of the ship being attacked, um, the captain being a dragon, Valida being murdered, or I guess, is, is it murdered if you were in mutual combat? I don't know. Probably. Uh, and then kicked into a cold ocean. Ivrin dove deep into the water in his narwhal form to try to find... Uh, Valida, unfortunately, was unable to locate her body, uh, but did find her mace, or her, her um, flail, uh, Huga, um, and was able to return that in one piece. You guys also, you and Jashara, the, uh, one of the deckhands of the ship that was played by, uh, Nissa, uh, questioned the, um, one of the uh, attackers that you had captured named Gregan, uh, a familiar face to you guys from the Dragon Cult. Uh, you questioned him a little bit. He wasn't super helpful. Didn't seem like he had a whole lot of information, but you got some out before he suddenly combusted into flame and quickly burned to ash. Uh, last we saw Ivrin, he was giving a rousing speech to the crew to try and pull together some semblance of unity uh, before making a, his next move. Uh, skipping over to Zorag and Aelin, they traveled through the Underdark, uh, met a devil that uh, made a deal with them to 
guide them out of the Underdark in exchange for them murdering a uh, hero of uh, uh, hero of Icewind Dale in return for its lord, whose name I just forgot, Zir. Oh my God. Zeronax. Zeronox. Zeronox. Yes. Uh, for its lord, Zeronox. Um, you guys finally got out uh, of the Underdark, found a town, saw a strange face that was eyeing Zorag. Um, Aelin kind of uh, tried to get more information out of him before splitting off. Uh, Zorag went outside, and the mystery man swung an axe at Zorag's head. Uh, Zorag kind of ignored him during the fight almost until the man um, hit the right buttons on Zorag and sent him into a mad rage uh, unleashing the dragon uh, Zorag flat out killed the man <laughs> and that's where we kind of left Aelin and Zorag which I think is where we're going to go to today oh oh uh, should I mention Valia Valida had a nice send-off moment in uh, the Hall of the Mountain where she met her her master that taught her blacksmithing, uh, Drevold, uh, once more. And they shared a drink and, and food and talked um, before uh, Valida was whisked away from the Hall of the Mountain. Um, and we've yet to see what happened with that. So, without further ado, sit on down. Let us tell you a tale. We find ourselves outside of a tavern called the Grumpy Moose. That was the name of it, correct? Yeah. The Grumpy Moose in Icewind Dale. Frigid North. Um, Zorag may be a few feet outside the door of this tavern. Standing over the body of one dwarven man. Aelin, you had just come outside to see this sight. What do you do? Well, she had already checked the body, confirmed it was dead after Zorag uh, roared at her. And her words were, oh shit. And her mind is scrambling to try to find the solution. Uh, about how tall was this dwarf? Uh, dwarves get to about... I think the tallest they get is like five feet. So this dwarf was probably like four, four nine, maybe. Okay, awesome. Has anyone come to the front of the bar yet to look? Uh, for me, screaming and then yelling, is there no one else? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Roll me perception checks. Zorak, during uh, this, or uh, what are you doing? Um, 16. I'm just like roaring, uh, looking around. I'm kind of in a frenzy right now. Yeah. Uh, Aelin, at the moment, you don't see anyone around. This is a very, very strangely small town. Only a few oh. buildings. <laughs> I rolled this calm token. <laughs> Um, before you do hear a, um, a creak of the door behind you. Shit. All right, uh. Okay, she is going to cast Disguise Self to look as much as Dremor as possible. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah. Do you, are you able to get that short? I forget how much range you have. It's within a foot. Okay. You could seem a foot shorter or taller. Cool. And so Aelin is 5'5". Five five. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So you look behind you um, with just a little bit of the, the sound from the bar comes out of the door as it opens. And behind you is um, one Captain Flynn Seppi. Sliding oh, out of the door. Okay. Uh, 
so she casts Disguise Self, and she is going to point at the dead body. And, and towards Zorag is like, either distract him or hide the body. No, I think we're going to run now. Uh, hold on, I gotta make, hold on, I'm gonna do something real quick. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, oh no. I just did a dumb, didn't I? Yeah. Zorag's gonna oh, no. punch Aelin in the back of the head because she looks like the dude he was just fighting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Roll attack roll. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Why did you do that? It's just strength roll, ain't it? Because it's unarmed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, your strength. Hey. Only uh, eight. It wasn't Luckily. a reckless. So, uh, Aelin, you're uh, looking kind of down at this body, and when you feel the fist whiz past the back of your head, uh, as Zora yells out... Um, All right. And she'll drop the illusion right away then, wasting that spell slot, because, yeah, I could end it at any time. Flynn when says, she does that, he's, like, looking behind her, like, looks at her, then looks behind her, trying to find this son of a bitch where he went, because he's clearly stupid. <laughs> there is no time. Let's go. We're stunk. Doesn't matter. Leave him. Say, uh... Oh, God, that, I really don't want to leave him. Looking at Flynn, looking at Aelin, uh... I'm just gonna, like... You watch. <laughs> uh, you, you watch Flynn's shadow shift from under his form to like twenty-ish feet away from him. Um, what did you say you were doing? You were just running. Oh, I mean, if he's gonna do that, the little shadow thing, I would run after the shadow. You're running after the shadow? To, okay. Yeah, to try and kill it. I don't okay. know what it is. I just see a shadow out there. Zorag's fucking mad. Fair enough. Um. Give me an attack roll. So Zorak's now 20 feet away from this tavern. Um, Just an 11. I, I can't remember if that hits or not. I can't remember if it's 13 AC or 10. He doesn't really... I don't think he has uh, good armor. No, I'm talking about the the shadow. Oh. The echo uh, for this... Uh, uh, Tommy, do you remember what Geldrick's I, Shadow had, Echo had? Sorry. I thought I thought the Echoes had the same armor class, but if they got hit, they immediately dissipated. Do they? Okay, then that would miss. They've got one HP. Yeah. they got like, one yeah. HP with the same AC? Okay. So You'd it misses. Get, get with a negative one strength modifier with an unarmed attack for the Shadow to just stay alive, I guess. All right. Uh, uh, then while Zorag's distracted, Aelin is just going to turn the body over so his bloodied, pummeled face is face down. And she'll she will go to the she'll send a message over to Sunk uh, telling him uh, we have to leave. I'm sorry. There is a room for you to stay or you can come with us right now. Hello? What? Uh, what? <laughs> um. Aww. You just scared the shit out of that dude by doing that message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> poor, this poor innocent little thunk. <laughs> um. You send a message to thunk. That's your response. Um. All right. She'll send another message to him. This is Aelin, by the way. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, did you say to come outside? 
Uh, he has a choice to either come outside right now or stay the okay. night. Um, I'll roll to see if he's smart enough. To, okay. Um, yeah. Um, a few moments pass. Flynn uh, looks to you, and he's he's like, "Look, love, I understand y you have your friends and stuff, but we've got to go right now." Um. She's gonna bite her tongue. And yeah, and wait a couple more seconds. I'm just swinging at this fucking shadow. Swing again. Um, as you do, there's what? another... The door begins to open once more. 17. What do you do? <laughs> uh, move off to the side uh, to be out of the light and the if it's thunk. If it's thunk, I'm going to prepare to grab him. And if it's not, I'm gonna run. Okay. Give me athletics check. <laughs> Four. So, um, you watch the short, uh, purple-skinned, kind of tubby man walk out of the uh, tavern. You go to grab hold of him. He's like, he shouts out, "Hey, let go of me!" And uh. Uh, he just breaks right out of your grapple, uh, turns to you, and, and realizes that it's you. Oh. Uh, all right, uh, where are we going, boy? What, what's going on? Uh, we're just going to go. I'll explain on the way. I'm so sorry, Thunk. We can't stay here tonight. Uh, okay, uh, sure. All right. Um, Flynn's like... Come on now, let's go, come on. Kind of tugging at you. And I will just bat his end off and uh, just kind of gesture Thunk to come along and she'll start jogging through the snow towards Zorag. Okay. Um, so, um... You would have hit on that hit, by the way. Um, destroying his... Uh, wait, actually, no, it's his AC. I keep forgetting. That probably it's still not, hit, though. It's, it's, it's 14, 14 plus, it plus is, his proficiency. Okay, that makes more sense. So See, I knew it if wasn't. If got a proficiency of four, then it won't hit. Do, 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 do. Where is Flynn? This is the problem with my... If he's, if he's level eight like us, then it'll, it'll hit and it'll kill. Let's see if he's... Under enemies or allies, or where is he? Either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that hit, because I'm pretty sure it hit. Um, oh, here he is. Okay, got it. So, um, that... It's his proficiency? Bonus? Yeah, 14 plus proficiency. Okay, so it does hit. Um, so, you rake through the shadow, Zorag, and it dissipates. Uh, what do you do? Uh, you turn around and you see Flynn is, um... <coughs> you see Flynn, Thunk, and Aelin. Uh, Flynn is trying to get you to go the other way, Aelin. Uh, he says... Logos inside said, uh... The ice, see him moving ice that way. Insight check. Is he telling the truth? Uh, roll me an insight check. Don't need uh, where's the insight? Here it is. Yes, he's 15. absolutely telling the truth. Alright. Then she'll stop, turn around, and... How far away is Zorak? Uh, Zorak's about 20 feet from you guys. Alright, she's gonna... She's going to cast Mage Hand to kind of wave in front of Zorak's face and do the uh, gesture. Come on, this way, this way. And see if he attacks the hand. Zorak, what are you feeling in right now? Like I'm gonna murder anyone in my face. 
Um, what would you do? Would you go to Aelin, who's waving? Uh, so, I'll say this is what's going to happen with Zorag. Zorag turns like he sees this waving hand, and he's going to haul off, and then look like he's going to try and punch Aelin like attacker. And then right before he goes to do it, you'll see he kind of winces and then just roars at him and then runs off and busts through the door of a nearby house. He's just going to try nearby. and it. Yeah, he's just going to try and bust through a house. Oh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> shit. Okay. Zorak runs to the one of like two nearby houses. Um, Go ahead and roll me a strength check. I have advantage on these. I forgot I'm raging. You watch Aelin as Zorak runs off toward the house and shoulder checks the door, crashing right through. Uh, Flynn again persistently saying, You have to let him go. He's lost. I'm out of it. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh... Okay. I'm sorry. She's going to cast Tasha's Mind Whip at Zorag to try to knock him out of it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Uh, wait, no. How far of range does it have? 90 feet? Okay. 90. Uh, Zorak, yeah, Zorak wouldn't have been able to get that far away from you anyways, so. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. have to have a line of sight? Because if I bust through a door and I'm inside of a house, because I got 80 foot movement. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I could see within range. Okay, then if I can't see him, then then never mind that. I'm trying to, th- roll me a well, perception check, we'll see. Well, probably if I did an action to break through a door. That's true, I- that's true, that's true. Uh, I think you can see him. You can just make out, like, his his bottom half as he crushes through the door and kind of lands as the door like hits the ground. He's on top of the door, so you can just make out part of him. Okay, so make an intelligence save. Ooh, okay, you take five psychic damage. Uh, thanks for keeping my rage active. <laughs> <laughs> um... Flynn. And uh, pretty much now for your next action, you have to choose whether you take a movement action or bonus action. You only get one of the three for your next choice. And yeah, Aelin's still reluctant to run. Uh, Flynn is going to look to you. Do one last shot if you're coming with me now. If not, you better damn send a message. To your friends on that ship and let them know oh, I didn't kill you out here. And he's gonna start like slowly backing off and getting ready to run. All right. Aelin's gonna look at Sunk and tell him run. And she is going to run with Flynn towards the ice sea. At least until they're far enough away out of town, and then when they are, she'll stop to send a message. Yeah. Sorry, Zorag. <laughs> Camera, damn it. Those cameras hate you, man. Dude, I, it's been... Th- I moved it for the dice trade thing. And ever since that stream, it's not cooperated. It's been a you disaster. need some duct tape. Um, so Aelin begins to run off uh, east. Yeah, east. Um, Zorag. It's going to be dark, but if someone, like, whenever I busted through that house, was there anyone within striking range of me? That, that's what I'm going to roll for. I'm going to say odds. 
Yes, evens no. Okay. You bust through the door, and nobody is in there. I just uh, keep running through the house. You're met with like a hearth, um, a table and chairs, uh, but it seems that no one was down here. Uh, there is a staircase. Uh, if you you can try and rush up the stairs, we'll say. No, I'm like, if anything, if I don't see anyone immediately, he's going like if there's a back door or jump jump out of a window or something. Okay. But he's gonna he's going forward. He has a one track move forward. Gotcha. Mind. Okay. So we'll just we're just kind of gonna leave you rampaging. I think. <laughs> so Zorak rampages, and I'm not gonna stick with him because I have no idea where that's gonna go. <laughs> well, we'll Down figure it out later. Of darkness. Um. But, um, during this time, Zorag, in your head, you hear the dragon egging you on. Uh, you know what that horn means, don't you? Your friend is dead. I know you feel it. Yeah, Zorag's not even replying. He's just even more angry now. You have no one left again. As I'm running, I'm grabbing furniture and throwing, or like, just running into buildings, like, topping, toppling carts as I see them. So you don't even attempt to fight this? No, I'm pissed. I'm okay. enraged. So it's like. So we'll leave Zorak rampaging the town. Assess, I don't know, whatever. We'll we'll leave Zorak rampaging a town. Um, as, uh, Aelin, you you run off maybe an hour, um, out of town, maybe something like that. That seemed fair. Sure. Yeah, just running, trudging through the snow. And one horse opens the. <laughs> With one thumb oh, trailing oh, oh, behind you. You said you plan to stop? Yes. Okay. She's gonna stop and catch her catch her breath, and she is going to pull out two pieces of paper. Um she is going to write one for Ivrin saying okay. uh on the message she'll say we're out of the Underdark. Something happened in the town. Zorag stuck in a rage. On our way to the... What is it? The uh, Ice Sea? The Sea, sea of, of Moving, moving ice. ice. On our way to Sea of Moving Ice. Hope you and Valida are okay. And she'll send that off. And then she's going to send... Another message to Zorag uh, that's going to say, Go east. They had to run east. Okay. Yeah. Go east to the moving ice. Hope you're okay. We'll see the other soon. Aelin. And she'll send that one off to Zorag. Okay. And hopefully, if hopefully he's either snapped out of his rage by the time the message arrives, or it'll cling on to him before he, and when he finally notices it, he'll be able to read it. Alright, and she's gonna look over at Thunk. How is Thunk holding up? Uh, Thunk is confused. Um, that's most um, of the time. Yeah, Poor that's guy. that's pretty pretty normal for him. Um, he's, when he stops to catch his breath, uh, he just kind of looks at you, like, "What what's going on?" Uh, yeah. Something happened, I think. Something triggered Zorag's 
rage and he can't he wasn't able to snap out of it and he ended up she trails off it's like that guy had information about what that devil wanted and now I can't get it Uh, um, right. We're heading over to the Sea of Ice, where hopefully we'll be able to reunite with a couple of our friends. And figure out what, what the hell is going on. I have no idea what happened with Zorig there. Do your friends usually... Just go around and, like, kill people. You know. Like, you might... You, I'm gonna go to this boat, and... Are they all like that, or just... No, no. They're not all like that. Well... Some of them can be a little temperamental, but no, they're not all like that. Yeah. I mean, I'll have a temper too, so... I might fit in. Yeah, I think I think you'll fit in, especially with uh, a buddy named Rumshu. I think you'll like him. Mm. Wait, <sighs> so Aelin's is... gonna look over at Flynn. So, what were you hearing in the bar? I was asking around uh, for find the closest way to see a moving ice. Uh to Tamerlane, either one, and the uh, best bet is see you moving ice, it's only two hours from here. Yeah. Alright, uh, for when Aelin sent off the queen to Ivrin, did she make note? Did she notice which direction that it went off to? Yeah, sure. It, it had the direction you guys are running. Alright, well... Odds are, if uh, Ivan and Valida got to the ship, it is that way. She'll point to the way that they were running, because that's the way the crane went. Okay. Um, you uh, continue on. Yeah. Uh, before we cut from your scene, you hear, what's the ship? And then it goes black. <laughs> uh, and then we cut over to um, Ivrin. Uh, Ivrin, what is your plan here? So, uh, Ivrin, this is the following morning, right? Is where we cut out? Because I had woken up and interrogated Gregan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, after he disintegrates. Um, and there is nothing left of him to interrogate. Uh, Ivrin is going to attempt to rouse the crew into sailing towards uh, Iron Gate. So that we may uh, attempt to, to gain some money and repair the mast. Okay. Um... Dave, uh, by your side, is uh, says, uh, uh, "Hopefully she'll, hopefully she'll uh, stay sturdy enough during this." Um... That's, that's the hope, there, Dave. If not, then well, we'll be walking, and I can tell you from experience, you can do it. It's just really fucking shite. Right. Uh, it's just um, well, to get through a lot of the ice, you kind of need to hit it with a lot of force. We're down a mast, but, um... How, how far are we, do you think, from here to there? Not too far. Rough estimate. Should we, we should say, what, like, uh, a mile or so? I mean, Mort was really our guy, but, um... I'd say, uh, a couple miles. Three, maybe. Four. Well, I suppose the ship ain't moving too quickly anyway. Um, 
let's let's try and find a group of people to start yakking away at it from the front and uh, see if we can get things speeding up. I don't want to be out here when night hits too much longer. This does get cold. Uh, we need some food. So, let's see if we can find some people. And yeah, I'll, I'll go and do that. I'll see if I can get some people to, to start hacking away at the ice in front of the ship to make oh, it shit. easier for it to plow through. Okay. Um, roll me a persuasion check to see... How much of the crew you can get to go actually do this dangerous job? Ew, that's a not not one. Oh shit! Okay. Um, man, it, it, a nat one. Yep. Uh, they scoff at you. Um, well, do you and... want do you want Jashara to do any rolling or? Do you want her back to regular NPC status? Uh, I think for now, we'll just leave her uh, as Okie dokie. Um, you, uh, a kind of general response from the people you get is like, they laugh and say, uh, one guy, the guy that kind of was heckling earlier a little bit is, um, mm -hmm. he's... It's like, uh, already lost one to the drink. Now he wants to send more of us to our deaths. I understand your confusion there, by Um, you have to be aware. If we don't get moving, you're gonna be stuck here, frozen to a stick on the mast like a fucking popsicle. Would you rather have that... Or I can get you to safety, and we can maybe repair the ship and get you home. Look, why don't you turn into another one of those birds? Flop your pretty little wings like the Revel's End and see if they can't give us a tow. Now, wouldn't that be an idea? It's almost like... I'm thinking of ways to go about it, but I think the fastest way would be to get your sorry asses up. And work. But no, thanks for the advice there, boy. I'll go do that. And I'll leave. And I'll pout for a while. <laughs> um, and then I'll, I'll hit up Rumshoe. And I'll bring Dave in as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I will... <laughs> I'll, I'll say... Alright, listen. Um, the crew's getting a bit miffed right now. Understandably, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go and, and fly over to Iron Gate and see if we can get some additional help in. Um, in doing so, I'll probably need a little bit of assistance from you, little man. Um, Dave. Yep. Come up. I. Uh... I am electing you first mate. You're in charge. Hmm. Second in command from you is Jashara, because she's capable. Um, and if anyone gives you any sure. shite, just tell her to pop them. Uh, we'll be back in probably a couple hours or so. Rumshu, you up for it? Uh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. Great. Uh, so, uh, pack your things. I'm going to tell the crew, and then we'll be off. Great. You uh, stand up. Was that like in your office, your quarters, or like what? Yeah, yeah, that'll just be in the in the captain's quarters. Okay. Yeah, you stand up from your chair. Yeah, open the front door and take a step out, and you're smacked in the face by a piece of paper. What is it? It's the uh, the message from Aelin that reads. Um, what exactly did I read? It was east. You went east toward the Sea of Moving Ice. Um, do you remember any other specifics? I think it Aelin. just said that. Oh, they they made it out of the Underdark as well, yeah. they said. Yeah, Zorag was a little ragey and hoped that uh, Ivern and Valiata were doing okay. Great. Awesome. I'll put it away. Um, 
that's not great news, is it? So she didn't say that she was coming here, which means we still got to go there. Well, it, it implied that she was coming this direction by saying she was going to the Sea of Moving Ice. That's where you guys are. But she didn't say specifically we're going to the boat, I guess. So that's up to you okay. if you would make that inference or I not. I mean, regardless, it doesn't, it doesn't change the plans for today anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'll just pocket it. Uh, I'm not going to tell anyone about it yet. And then I will go up. I'll... I'll address the crew and basically say, you know, uh, I'm going to get some help. Dave's in charge. Don't fuck him over, or I, I'm going to be really pissed. Um, and then I'll take Rumshu, I'll polymorph into a giant eagle, and I will fly over to Iron Gate at half speed. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um... You get uh, to Iron Gate at this point. Uh, the guards are still alert, but they figure it's probably you. Because mm -hmm. um, this is how you arrived last time. A little weird that you brought a goblin this time, though. They, they seem a little hesitant at that. Sure. Um, yeah. Oh, you brought us one back for the uh, for the old cells, huh? Actually, surprisingly enough, this one hasn't committed any crimes that I'm aware of. It's really weird. Um, he says that he's a hero, but I... You can take that as you will. Uh, no, he's just a little... Just a little friend there. Aren't you, buddy? Uh, yeah, I killed the dragon, so fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of dragons, um... We... Uh, have been attacked by one... And our ship is in dire need of repair, and our crew is in need of assistance. Um, I don't suppose I could talk to the warden or someone about a little bit of help here. Right, uh, come back in. Thanks very much. Uh... So they lead you back in to the warden's uh, office, which you recall, you go right up the the stairs, mm -hmm. down the hall, and into this office with the big oak wood desk. And uh, warden um, uh, Riven Benswith, that was his name, uh, is sitting behind his desk uh, snoring. And then uh, the guy, the um, the man who brought you up there, just kind of clears his throat. <laughs> you uh, see Benswith kind of start to wake up from his uh, little nap. Busy day, stressful, tiring. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> I, for I forgot how to do the accent. Huh? <laughs> hey, what do you want? Uh. Didn't you well, leave, like, uh, a couple of days ago? Yesterday, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we were we were actually going to be on our way. Um, I hate to bother you, but I'm, I'm kind of in desperate need of assistance here. Um, our ship was regretfully attacked by a dragon, um, and we are currently stuck a little ways out Iron Gate, um, and I was just hoping that maybe you could help us with a tow back here. Hey, um, <clears throat> I just, I cannot, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. Um, so, you're telling me that the uh, dragon has attacked your ship. But, yes. Uh, what the... Uh, what kind of dragon? It was a green one. Uh, missing an eye? I don't know. They seem to be... His name is Venom Fang. I don't know if you've heard of it. Or something. Never heard. Venom Fang. Uh, uh, Rumshu here, um, who has killed a dragon before, uh, seems to seems to know a little more about it than you say it was, it was hanging around... Uh, yeah, I was uh, 
uh, lived in Thundertra, kind of near Fanderland. Right, so it's it's been around a little bit. Um, flying up north could be a threat to you, so it's it's. I'm trying to warn everyone as best I can. Which way did it uh, go? Which way did it go? Um, it would have been heading south, it, like not this way. It was heading like southwestish. Um, seemed to be in the area. Roll me a deception check. Uh, I'm I'm much better at these. This advantage because your story doesn't make that much sense. Uh, Sixteen. You said you said away, <laughs> but also southwest is just kind of southwest. away, but not too far away. Right, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, what would they? Oh, hang on, hold on. I'll roll an insight for him. Okay. So you want to. Uh... You want to what again? You want to uh, at the moment just to just to tow uh, our ship back here. Maybe we can uh, negotiate some exchange of of uh, repairs for services, or or uh, maybe we can fence a couple cannons here for you that you might be able to use. Um, just the tow is more than more than enough for us at this point. So you want to tow your ship out of the Sea of Moving Ice? Down to uh, Neverwinter. No, just just here if you can, so we can uh, take a moment and and you know take a rest, and then we can decide where we're going from there. Um, we are in in need of a little repair, so I, I'd like to barter some of that when I can. But um, I got to get my crew somewhere safe first. You understand? He's uh, he nods his head. Um... And he um, kind of thinks for a second and uh, says, No, you wouldn't happen to have uh, something on ship that would attract Dragon here. You know I have to protect my uh, prison. I can assure you, dear warden, there is nothing on the ship that would attract a dragon. Roll me a... Uh, Persuasion? It's not really a lie, necessarily. Lies is not lying anymore. <laughs> Much better. 24. Okay. All right. Uh, we will do this. Uh, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Uh, uh, we could also arrange. Uh, we should have ship coming in with supplies uh, the next within the 10 day it's hard to say exactly when but uh, if you want to take a ride back with them i'm sure you could probably figure it out yeah that'd be fantastic uh i'll need to consult my men make sure that we are all on on board with going there um some may want a, a change of direction but um that'd be fantastic thank you kindly sure uh, okay um, so, uh, he's going to, um, oh, you know what, before though, um, he, he's gonna, um, kind of lean in, oh, how many cannons are we talking? We currently have four, since we're not really set for combat anyway. Um, I'm willing to part with all of them. Four cannons, yeah. And, uh... That will pay for tow. Do you want us to do repairs? That will be quite hefty price. There's not a lot of, uh, lumber in this area. If I can do something for you that you think would be of valuable exchange, uh, then we can negotiate something like that. Um, otherwise, otherwise, I'll consult the crew about whether they want to just hitch a ride back to Neverwinter by themselves. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I mean, uh, if you end up leaving both here, we will hold it, but uh, 
it will cost you. Of course. Um, that's fine. I'll just need to talk to my people and we'll we'll figure out what we're doing. Okay. Well, uh, I will send the... Uh, you. You go with uh, this man and uh, see his ship and uh, get the men right on it. And he just nods uh, and he'll escort you out. Right. Um, so, you've got a ship going to tug your ship back here. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Fucking bastard natural one. So <laughs> Could have got there for free. With four cannons. That's the tow. <laughs> got it. Cool. All right. Um, do you go back right away with this guy? Or are you, like, staying here a night or anything? No, I'll go back. I want to make my presence known to the crew that I'm actively trying to get them safe. Okay. Do you polymorph again? Can't. Okay. So, uh... What instead happens, I guess, would be he'll just take the ship right away. There's no point in walking out there and then walking back. So he gets together a crew. It takes a few hours um, with uh, a ship with a very nice steel or uh, metal um, uh, ram. I forget what we called it again. Icebreaker kind of thing built into the front of the ship. Um, As well as a second ship. Uh, to tow. So he, it, the plan is they're going to break the ice with the first ship going fast, and then the second ship will tow behind with your ship. Um, sure. So they're expending a lot of resources on this. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, should be able to do it. Um, you spend the next few hours getting back to your uh, your ship with those ships. Yeah. Um, uh, when, it, when we get there and... Uh, I make contact with the guy who's been mouthing me off. Um, I'll just walk up to him and I'll be like, so, great advice on the tow. It's going to cost us everything we have to barter with. Worth your price of lazing off, eh? And I'll just walk away. That's why I'm the captain! You hear him say something under his breath. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I do. Okay. Um, so. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Okay. So, um, let's, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know where to take it from here because... This is, I think we can go into almost some downtime, but first, I guess, let's sort out the Aelin situation. Uh, Aelin, this is pretty much just travel in Icewind Dale, um, and it's not far. Um, so it's going to be a really easy survival check, because you have a direction, which is east, um, as well as you have a landmark you're looking for, which shouldn't be too hard to miss. So, roll me a survival right. check. And um, on world one as well. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's that's under Aelin's, but I accidentally had Jashara select selected, okay. so five. Five. Um, well, okay. me... I failed, didn't I? Well, Flynn also. Oh, I guess Thunk can go too, but still, yeah, her check is gonna be really bad. Yeah. Thunk knows what East is. Thunk. Doesn't know what East is, but he, he he's good at like general sense direction. You know they were heading that way, so he's he's harder to get turned around. Uh, Thunk rolls a little better. Um, so I rolled something because you did really bad and Flynn did really yep. bad. Um, you, you end up it. walking and camping two days in ice in uh, Icewind Dale. You make constitution saving throw for both those days. Is that because of traveling east and not west? Oh, there's a nat one. Oh, sorry. I meant to say west. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, so west. So you're going to take two points of exhaustion. Okay. 
And then she rests the first night and gets one back. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so currently at one exhaustion and then another con save. Sure. Yeah, second day, you're fine. Right. So, so still one exhaustion. Ivrin. Yes, sir. Well, I guess so. Aelin. Damn it. This is so confusing, guys. <laughs> Aelin doesn't find the ship because the ship's not there anymore because it's now going north. Well, the ship hasn't left yet. The ship is just at Iron Gate. This is two days later, so yeah. So, Aelin, you would hit the you would hit the river. God, this is just a mess. You would hit the mm -hmm. you would hit the Sea of Moving Ice. You would have to choose to go north or south. She is going to write another, uh, write another note and send it to Ivran, going, I found the sea of ice heading towards you send it off and which way is it going <laughs> ah good call okay perception check I mean and it's, with, it's very this easy this is bad it very easy check okay 17 you're able to pinpoint which direction this thing's going and follow it north oh my god yeah alright awesome okay, okay cool. so heading heading following the bird Following the paper, flimsy little birdie. Uh, so we'll use your perception check for the travel because you're following a bird. Flynn, roll a perception, uh, survival check. Let me roll one for Thunk. We're doing much better. <laughs> so, yay! You guys travel north. It doesn't take you that long. The Ten Towns area it really isn't that big. It's more the weather that causes slowdowns and stuff. Um, so you would get there that same day. Uh, we'll say towards, we'll say uh, it's probably dark now because the day is not that long. So Ivrin, eventually, after days of them working on the ship and you waiting for this other ship to arrive to bring you somewhere else, to bring you back mm -hmm. down south, Aelin eventually shows up <laughs> with a weird deep gnome which I don't even know if you know what a deep gnome is. I don't know. That's up to you. But um, I've met him. Oh, that's that's right. You were you guys met him, met him, huh? I thought you guys Everybody split up before that. Thunk. No, we split up after Thunk was telling like because I remember Ivern and Thunk got an argument on how to pronounce the word. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Aelin shows up with Thunk and Flynn. No Zorak. Okay. Uh. So I see them. I see them coming up. How's Flynn looking? I forgot to roll a uh, con uh, Constitution save for him. Hold on. He looks fine. <laughs> and so this is this is an additional day after. Or is it two days after? Sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, two days after. So, and because I'm not suffering exhaustion points through checks or saves. Because I'm in the prison, right. my exhaustion yep. just goes. Yeah, you're rests. fine. You've, you've long rested. You have no more exhaustion. Fantastic. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is walk up, and I'm going to sleight of hand pull Valida's flail out from behind my back. And I'm going to say, it's so good to see you both. Whack! I'm going to hit him straight across the face with it. Flynn? Yep. Okay, roll me attack roll. It's a it's a strength based thing, right? Uh, the weapon, yeah. Really bad. It's a ten. It is a plus one flail. So Eleven. Uh, you you bring it from behind your back and swing it out toward him. He just kind of um, he shifts slightly to the right, um, as if he traded places with the shadow. And the the uh, and Hugo goes right through the uh, the shadows place. I does Aelin notice that this is Hugo? Yeah. I want to just push it straight into his chest. If Aelin didn't notice it now, she does. All right. Yeah. And Aelin's eyes are wide and going. Why do you have Valida's weapon? Oh, she's gone. Yeah, yeah. We were attacked by a one-eyed green dragon called Venomfang who seemed to seek out your fucking mirror. 
you see um, Flynn's face kind of change from exhausted to curious to mad. Aelin's a- a- pale. When was this? This was about three days ago, as soon as we got back to our ship. Ambush. Uh... It was Frogman, by the way. Yeah, he was a fucking dragon the whole time. Didn't bother mentioning that to us until he saw the mirror. So what are you holding out on us for? Did you Does Aelin put together Valiada and the horn? Did you lose my mirror? I didn't lose it, it was taken. Does Aelin put together the horn? Uh, m- making the noise from a few days ago? You, who's horn? What? Who? Uh, because Zorag the horn's had on Zorag. Yeah, but she was there when it sounded. Oh, are you saying are are were you able to piece together what it was? Yeah. Was Aelin there when you guys traded the horns? You traded it at the very end of Fandalor. Yeah. Right? yeah. So she should have been. I'm just trying to make a picture if it was before you or after you got split because you split in that scene. I think we gave... It was, like, right after we... What, it was like, right before we were about to split up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right. Aelin, she's already pale, but she is white as a sheet. And her knees kind of go a little wobbly, and she... kind of has to go and grip the wall. Uh, Flynn pulls up the hood of his uh, fur-lined cloak that he's grabbed from the tavern. Uh, when you guys stopped there, he just stole somebody's jacket, and he's got his hood up now, and he's kind of looking around and keeping his head down, but he's like, leans, he's leaning in toward you, and he's mad. Is that where you were saying you forgot whenever you realized yeah. that Flynn was going right back to the Yeah, this, this episode's from? been a shit show. <laughs> so... What are you not telling us about this mirror, and why is it attracted the attention of the cult of the fucking dragon? And how are you involved? I'm not involved with no cult of the dragon. I don't know what this dragon would want with this mirror. But you know what it does. Yes, I know what it does, and I need it. So what does it fucking do, Flynn? Shh. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I say it louder? In case the people in the back didn't hear it. Tell me what it fucking does. Roll me intimidation. Yeah. I'm in a position of advantage. Uh, intimidation. 18. Umberly's heart the only thing that can open the portal to her domain. So why are, why are they interested in that? I don't know. I have a question for you, Grizz. Go on. Zorag has not told me anything about his dragon shit. Anything at all. Um, I don't think he's even told me who this dragon who's talking to him is. It, what can I piece together about his connection to this? The Zorak's connection to this? Yeah, the Zorak's connection to the Cult of the Dragon specifically. Do I make you... Um, do I make you roll Because I... I know what's been happening in the campaign, minus anything that's going on with him personally. You know, you remember that a lot of people in that cult. Uh, so you, in episode two, you guys went to the party, mm-hmm. and the people there were drinking these cups of red liquid. Yeah, there was a. Um, magical ceremony of sorts, a ritual, there's the word, 
A lot of the people died, but some people transformed. Right, and I saw I saw Zorag drink it. Zorag drank it, and uh, since then he's had dragon-like appendages appear sometimes. Okay. You sit down there. Rumshu, look at him. Adults are going to go talk now, and I'm going to take Aelin off to the side. Rumshu just eyeing him real close. <laughs> All right. um, Aelin kind of shakes her head and looks over at Ivren, trying to wipe away any tear that might have been showing. Don't let up yet. I didn't find a body. Just a flail. If there was a body, I'm pretty sure I would have found it, considering that she was holding the damn weapon in her hand when she was, you know, knocked off the ship or wherever she was going. Saw the dragon go away with the mirror. Pretty sure she was strapped to it. Which would stand to reason that she's still alive somewhere, or they, they have her, regardless on her disposition. Um, I hope so, because that... That horn that Zorik has, uh, Valiata gave it to him a while back, and a few days ago, it sounded by itself. Well, what does it do? Does it does it activate when she's in need of help, or does it activate when she's dead? I I don't know. It just something, but she kind of rubs her temples for a moment. It's like. And I don't even know if Zorag's even come back to his senses yet. We've... A lot of shit happened after we got out of the underground. Even you while we were he... leaving the underground. He went away? What What does that even mean? He... I was talking with this dwarf and then... All of a sudden he was outside and... Zorag apparently killed him. And he was stuck in a rage. I have a theory. Um, I don't know what what's up with his anger issues. That's his own shite. Um, but he drank the the wine. Remember, he drank the wine at that place, and ever since then, he's been spouting a tail and claws and shite. Yep, yep, I'm aware of that. He's probably linked to them. If he's not a double agent then they're probably trying to get him to turn on us from now. Right? It would stand to reason, since I didn't find no body, if Alid is alive, it would make sense for her to be, because they could use her to get to him. Just don't... I hope you're right. Don't lose okay. your hope just yet. Alright, and... Also, another cherry on top of this, uh, whatever the hell this is, got a message from HQ wanting us to come back to Waterdeep. Well, you have no idea where Zorag is? <sighs> Left him back in the village. I sent a paper crane, but I don't know. I don't know if he's even read it or been able to acknowledge it. I mean, if I'm being honest, and he's gone, I think our best bet probably would be going back to the Harper to see what they know. Um. Anyways. Listen, the, what the ship is gone. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming it's from that dragon you were saying. Yeah, dragon and accomplices. So... <sighs> We we can hitch a ride back to Neverwinter and then see what we can do from there. Or I can we can attempt to repair the ship here, which is what I'd rather do. Just so we can have it. I'm in a little bit of a pickle, right? Uh, Fogman's gone. At the very least, I need to, to, to see what happened with him. Maybe they, they know something, but I... We need what to decide on what we're going to do. Oh, you know, he was just standing there and then he was a dragon. I I'm sorry, pardon? He he was a dragon? 
yeah, it turned into this Venom Fang fella. Um, I, I, I wasn't too, too close to Valid at the time, um, but she seemed resonant. Okay. All right. Um, let me just go through my stuff, take a accounting so I can calm this storm that's in my brain right now, and then, yeah, let's head back to Waterdeep. Listen, um, I don't know where Zorag is. I have a sneaking suspicion I could probably find him, but if... It's probably easier to send him a message, tell him that we're going back to Waterdeep and we expect to see him there. Um, yeah. And mention that Valida is alive, even if it's not technically the truth that we know of. Try and get him to think <sighs> it is. Did I mention that Valida was taken? What? Not yet. Oh. Just mention that she's alive. I thought you were questioning Just me. Just ask. <laughs> okay. All right. Whew. All right. I'm going to go outside and do this. Unless we're already outside. What's up to you guys where you would have had that conversation? Uh, um, yeah, if I knew they were coming, um, I would meet them outside of the prison because I don't want Flynn to get uh, instantly recognized. In. Yeah. Alright, and then Aelin will uh, just kind of head off to the side and uh, will dump out her bag and start organizing through everything to calm her head down before sending off a message and yeah she'll send off a message to Zorag saying we will be regrouping at Waterdeep we hope to see you there and she'll hesitate and say an add on Valida wants to talk with you. And send it off. Okay. Um. And the last thing I would like Aelin to do is the last thing that she puts away is she grabs Jack's compass and she's just going to open it up and look at it. Is it still kind of pointing to the southwest? Uh, yes. Yep. That she'll kind of stroke her. She'll stroke her fingers along the casing and then close it, and she's going to put it back in her bag. Okay. Um, Ivrim, when you're available again, Flynn. Um, kind of walks up to your side. Um, he's mm -hmm. constantly trying to like keep his back to to people moving about down here. Um, you guys are still on the docks, you said, right? Still outside of the prison. Yeah, still outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, he's um, he's been kind of shifty, just trying to avoid <laughs> being seen. Um, mm -hmm. and he's gonna he walks up to your side, and he's uh. Right, so, what is your plan, then? Oh, well, I've got several tidbits of, uh, of several plans, but I'd like to get a little bit of information first. We're going to track down that mirror, because I'm nothing if not a man of my word, as much as I kind of hate you. Um, I made a promise, and that's that. Where's your ship, and when's it coming? My ship's not, uh, not coming here, that's for sure. Uh, mm. I know, um, 
I'm just gonna leave. You guys, uh, I, I can't go into the prison, so. I'm not asking you to go to the prison, okay? Whether you like it or not, we're gonna be stuck together for a little while, I imagine. Because you're looking for the mirror, I'm looking for my friend, and they're in the same place. So whether you like it or not, we're going to end up in the same destination anyway. I'm suggesting this. Let us hitch a ride with you. If we can't get my ship repaired, we'll drop off my crew at a safe place, and no harm will come to them. And then let us get a little information out of the Harpers, and then we'll go. We'll go try and find this this lair or wherever they're holding it. Steal it back. Okay, roll for something. Where? <clears throat> so where would you expect me to bring you lot to? Ideally, we'll go to Waterdeep Stop at Neverwinter because we have connections there that might be able to point us in the right direction. Might. What do you need at those? You have someone at Neverwinter to talk to. No, we're going to stop at Neverwinter to drop off. Actually, are any of the cl- any of the crew from Neverwinter, or are they all from Waterdeep? Or the remaining uh, ones? Because we picked up the navigator in, in Neverwinter, and he died. I think the rest of them I were from th- Waterdeep, besides the navigator you picked up later. Okay, at least so that's where you that. picked them up from. So to scratch that. We'll just go to Waterdeep, straight to Waterdeep. Water deep will work. All right. Um, uh, look, I understand you're running a tight ship. I'm not going to challenge you. Just don't make sure that my crew doesn't come to any harm. As long as you can promise the same. Please. What the fuck am I going to do? We run things on a ship a bit different than uh, the average, so... Pirate life, I get it. Hmm. Alright, um... Stay here, I'm going to converse with my people. Let them know the plan. Um... No, tell your friend, um... Aelin there. Give me a ring give you a ring? Oh, you're not going anywhere. I need no, you to contact no, no, my no. ship. Yeah, you can do that. Just don't go anywhere. Fine. Atta boy. And I will um, leave. Is Rom- Romshu still keeping an item, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll leave him with him and then I'll go and tell the crew that they've got two options they can either uh try if they want to go back to neverwinter and they can try and barter passage onto that that's fine otherwise we'll drop them off at Waterdeep. but okay. it's not the nicest ride down okay so we're gonna uh speed up the process a little bit uh besides i, qu- I quickly would have to ask would aelin give flynn the ring to send a message only on the condition that she sees the message before he sends it to make sure that he is not like planning an ambush or trying to use specific code words to smart um roll me a um intelligence check um he kind of <laughs> sighs when you mention it and he's like Ugh, whatever and she still has exhaustion, so that's intelligence. Uh, yeah. Six. So the oh, you're at six. Okay. Because um, I'm one point of exhaustion. She needs a nap. The message reads: um, change of plans. Meet. Um, let's see. He says, like, meet, like, um, 
trying to figure out exactly where he would want to meet. Uh... Meet, um... I'm trying to remember what nautical miles are. <laughs> Whatever. Just meet, meet like... A little way 15 away. 15 miles away south of Revel's End. We're going to have company. Um... Oh, Grizz, can I try and convince him to tow our ship with him? Along uh, behind. He's going to mention, don't don't go too deep in the ice. Once the ice gets thick, stop. <laughs> and try and convince him to tow our ship. He's not going to be able to. Shit. Then I'll try and fence it at the, at the thing. Okay. Cool. So you're going to try and sell your ship? Yep. Okay. Um, roll me a persuasion check. How much did you guys buy the ship for? We got it for free. You got it for free, that's true. From the Harpers. You're selling Harper property. Yes, yep. I am. 14. Okay. Um, so, your ship is a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, they offer you... But it's you, repairable. It could be recycled. They offer you 50 silver pieces for it. Ouch. That's all? Yeah. They offer me five gold? No, 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 I'll be more fair. Let me roll a d100. <laughs> I could sell a splinter of this wood for 50 silver. Uh, yeah. Fucking assholes. No, yeah, they'll, they sell it for uh, 50 silver, man. Then I, it's Earth. no deal. I'll just keep it here, and then I'll... Yeah, I'll just keep it here. Okay. For the meantime. Do you still want the repairs? How much the repairs going to be? Okay, the repairs would be a lot. Um, you're looking at <sighs> they gotta bring the they have to find the lumber. They gotta find the men to repair it. Uh, although it is just top deck surface level, it is mass though. They can fix it for you for we'll say fifty gold. Oh, for 50 gold? Yeah. That's not that bad. We're getting paid that when when we go to the Harpers, for sure. <laughs> oh, God, I wish his little fucking bugger ass could tow it. Um, I don't have 50 gold on me. How much uh, does Aelin does. 107 gold. So, yeah, she'll fork over 50, the 50 gold. Okay. Oh, that changes so much. How long will it take to repair? It would take a while. It might take, like... At least a few weeks. Um, okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Before she pays, she'll kind of take Ivern over to the side. It's like, why don't we just message the Harpers and tell them they can pick up their property here? It'll take a while for the message to get to them is the only thing. If we If we pay for it, they'll probably reimburse us anyway. So, well, let's just pay for it. If they All don't right. want to pick it up, then I'll come back and pick it up. It's fine. But I'll, right. I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll get him to, to pay us back. Okay. Aelin will pass over the 50 gold. Okay. So, you guys paid right. to have the ship repaired. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. So... We're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Um, why is your camera out of its box, Equal? I just noticed. What? So you got, we're going to skip ahead some time with you guys um, to when the ship arrives to drop off supplies at Revel's End. Um, oh, but you guys decided not to take that. Correct. Yeah, we're going to leave the ship here so that it can get repaired. Right. So, so you're not going to take the ship. To Revel, from Revel's End that was heading to one of the cities along the Sword Coast. Instead, you guys were going to go to Flynn's ship. Um, so right. you guys don't have to wait. Would you guys have gone like the next day, the next two days? Yeah, I just want to make sure that all the crew has... They decide where they want to go, if they want to go on the other ship or on Flynn's ship. And when they're all ready to go, we'll pack up and go. 
Okay. So, uh, as you start to ask around, who, um, oh man, this is so tough. Which, uh, I'm just trying to, this is, this is really going to hurt. Um, so you go and start asking the crew what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Um, seems like they all have been talking to that guy who does not like you. And, uh, they're all just going to take the ship back. The sh That's fine. The ship from Revel's End. Um, Dave, uh, when you ask him about it, he's... Sorry, man. I I have kids back home, and look, I'm not going on no pirate ship. You don't need to explain anything to me, Dave. It's fine. I just wanted to throw the option out there in case you wanted to get to Waterdeep as soon as you could. All right? I'm not mad at you. And next time we get the ship repaired and we bring it back, if I need a crew, first person I'll ask. Great. Uh, stop on by sometime where you found me. I'm sure I'll be drinking. Of course. And uh, if Zorak uh, ever decides to show his face, let him know. I will leave a message with him. All right. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Uh, so your crew is going to take the ship back. Um, and then you, Aelin, Flynn, Rumshu. Uh, Rumshu would go with you, unless you told him not to. Um, no, absolutely. You can come with us. And Thunk. And Thunk. Uh, what would Thunk do? Oh my god. <laughs> what is what is Thunk doing here? <laughs> Thunk at this point <laughs> doesn't know either. <laughs> He's just going along for the ride. Um, Thunk's He's gonna go. He's seen the world before finding his brother. Because he rolled shit on his intelligence to be like, you know, it's probably not a good idea for me to go with these strangers. Um, so. You guys are all gonna set. You all set off to go to one ship. Um, before we go to break, we're gonna cut over one last time to Zorag. Um, in Zorag, you're. We see you in your own mind. Um, what does Zorag in his mind look like? Is he as he sits by that fire? That we've seen so many times. Right now, he looks how he did when he was just a child. It's a little baby Zorag. Yeah, he's. I'd say he's probably about 12, just sitting there. A lot skinnier and uh, had a lot more hair. But he's sitting there and he's just staring at the fire, uh, crying. Yeah, and in the flames you see um, images of your tribe when it was being lit afire by this dragon flying through, this, through the air, um, being destroyed. You just see flashes in those flames. Uh, the, the Zoragon um, hounding you from the other, the other seat across the flame. Why do you not fight me? Zorag just, uh... Sitting on the log, kind of puts his feet up. And just wraps his hands around his knees. And he's just like, kind of rocking back and forth as he just keeps looking into the flame. You are pathetic. If you won't fight me, I'll find someone who will. As he just buries his face, as audibly sobbing. How about that old master of yours? Uh, Zorag would just look up at him, like with tears in his eyes, and he'll just run out into the darkness. And you just hear a laugh from the Zoragon as you run. And that's where we're going to go take a break. Thank you guys for watching so far. It was a bit of a mess trying to get the party back together, but hey, we powered through. <laughs> you bastard, Tommy. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful note.
Uh, oh, Baka disappeared again. I swear he was just here, guys. He's still alive. Still kicking. You killed him, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Party, sort of. Two, two people. Two people party. Um, Hi. Uh, the morning comes and you set out to meet Flynn's crew on his ship. You travel south for 15-ish miles through um, snow, freezing temperatures. Um, luckily, you can't get really lost as you just start following the ocean. Uh, so survival checks are going to be very low, DC. Now let's go ahead and see some of those. Almost I've to the point where you're not going to need to do one, but... Uh, where's my survival? One of my lower stats. That's a 21. Nice. 17. That's a lot better. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're cleared of exhaustion because you slept, uh, Aelin. Yes. I figured. Thank you. Okay. So. Uh, you travel south following the coast for 15-ish miles until off in the distance you start to see uh in the through the fog in the mist you start to see these deep dark blue sails come into view um when uh there she is Looks great. Looks very dramatic with the with the fog and the wind and the sea mist. Great first impression. Oh, it's uh, mosey our way down there. After you, Captain. I'll introduce you to the crew. Cool. How many of the crew? Do you still have from when you took Jack's ship? I won't be having any of that talk in there. It's my ship now. Love. She'll just kind of glare at him. And you can stop calling me love, prick. None of that either. Uh, but I decided to keep the ones who helped you know mutiny Jack as you do anyways uh, you, you guys walk down the, the uh, coast over some some really slippery rocks um and a rowboat comes out um, that's being paddled by this lizard folk in uh, some very thick hides. Um, almost, you almost couldn't tell he was lizard folk at first, except for like his nose just peeking through. Um, looks like he, as he gets closer, he looks like he's really struggling with the cold weather. Not warm-blooded, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow Flynn. He's, uh, he's in the lead here. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be able to fit... Uh, because of the way... I think you would be able to fit two at a time, so... Uh, you guys go two at a time over to the main ship. Uh, ladders thrown down uh, for you guys to climb aboard uh, this immaculate galleon. Um, again, these midnight blue sails, uh, this trim, uh, this fine uh, carved uh, decal trim kind of thing all the way around the edge. Um, And uh, at the top, once you're all up, 
Um, Flynn says, Welcome aboard. Thanks for having us. It's, um, I won't lie. It's better than I expected. All right, everyone. Uh, these two, I mean, these four, four of them, or three of you? Yeah, yeah, there's four. There's four of you, right. These four are going to be staying with us. We're going to be, you're going Irish, Flynn. I don't know what the hell is going on. Love. Sorry, there, bye. You're going. We're going to be going down to Waterdeep, love, and, uh, see, I can't, I can't get it anymore. Fuck, I hate this. <laughs> We're going down to Waterdeep. Uh, we're taking these four with us, and, uh, from there, we're going to be going after the mirror that these two idiots lost. And the crew kind of lets out a grumble. <laughs> I think that's a little unfair. You try going up against a dragon and see how it fares. I don't see any dragon hunting equipment on your ship. <laughs> There's a few whispers amongst the crew. Uh, just like dragon? Dragon? You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this idiot here didn't realize he had a dragon for a captain. At least I survived the attack. That's so much for your other friend, though, huh? Ivrin's is, is biting his tongue really hard. So, <clears throat> we'll get you cabin, a cabin. Uh, try not to touch anything. Sure, Captain. And if you, uh, you lot see them snooping around places they're not supposed to be snooping around. Uh, don't be afraid to show them what we do to uh, traitors here. Oh, don't worry. We know. Aelin's just standing there. She's got her hands crossed and her nails are digging into the palms of her hands so hard. Are there any faces that she recognizes amongst the crew? Oh, uh, roll me a perception check. Gris, is, right. is, there, is, there, is there a shock person, Grace? Grace, is there a shock person anywhere? 13. Roll me a uh, perception check, Ivern. Yeah. For some reason, Ivern's <laughs> specifically like, oh man, I imagine there'd be a shark guy here. Let me look. Okay. Um, Aelin, um, you do see kind of in the back, um, like hang, kind of hanging, uh, by his arm on a, one of the, um, the kind of nettings that go up to the, the sails, um, a goblin that you recognize, uh, that goes by the name of Ugly Mug. But that's it. All right. Um, you don't see any shark people. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! So, um, go on, show them to their quarters. And, uh, let's get the ship moving. We're going water deep, fast as possible. We have to get where we're going before that dragon finds out. And you see the crew starts to scurry off their different positions. Uh, that lizard folk man um, uh, kind of slides his hood down to reveal um, a um, lizard folk with uh, that sort of crowning uh, orangey kind of fin at the top of his head. Um, kind of motions his head as if for you all, all to follow. We do. I want to stick Aelin in the middle of the party. I'll go first, and then it'll be Aelin, and then Ramshu Thunk or whatever. Just so that she doesn't, uh, you know, 
get attacked on the way through. I thought you were going for her so that she doesn't lash out and oh, punch the familiar that. faces. <laughs> you, can, you can do that as much as you want. Okay, wonderful. So yeah, if any of them start eyeing her, she's going to glare at them. I see an ugly mug even notices you. Nope. He gets right to work. Sweet. <clears throat> so uh, this lizard folk starts to bring you down the stairs to this cabin door. He knocks on thunk, thunk, thunk. And um, you hear uh, him say, as the door opens up, you have to move your stuff. Captain's orders. And there's a... Uh, <laughs> There's a human covered in tattoos. Um, you recognize this guy as well, Alien, but you never got his name. <clears throat> and he just kind of <sighs> grumbles, grabs his shit. Um, it's not much of it. And uh, storms out, kind of shoves you, Ivorin, in the sh with the shoulder as he passes by. Nice to meet you. I'll treat your room good. See a middle finger <laughs> as he continues walking off. Yeah, we'll we'll head in. Um, what's the room like? Very small. Um, there is one uh, hammock in here. Is it is it ten by ten foot? Sorry, is it a twenty foot diameter? Nah, it's probably not that big. Okay, I'll have to see how the dome works with that. All right, you can stay here. Do not cause trouble. Thanks, Mr. Lizard Man person. We'll do that. Garushk. Arushk. Nice Garushk. to meet you. Garushk. Garushk. Great. I remember it. Yeah, I'll, I'll step inside. You're merely stabbed um, in the stomach. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll step inside, um, close the door behind me, and I want to inspect for traps or prying devices. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, go ahead and roll me a investigation check. Uh, 12. Uh, you don't find anything. Sweet. Awesome. Is there a window that uh, we can... S Is there a port window? No. Okay. Aelin will let out a breath and unclench your hands and look at the drops of blood in her hands. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a long journey. Yes, it is. Um, I don't have to ask you. Spying tonight? Oh, yeah. Great. And if anyone, if anyone asks about my name, tell them I'm called Allie. Got okay? It. Allie it is. You hear that, Thunk? This right. is Allie. Well, she told me her name was Aileen. Yep, I am pretending to be Allie right. while we're on okay. the boat. Yep, we're pretending. I'll be... Mm. Punk. Oh, you look like a punk. Okay, punk. Thank you. Rumshu, can you remember that? Well, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. This is, this is your replacement. We figured he's smarter no. than you, so... Okay, Rumshu, this is Thunk. Uh, we met him in the Underdeep, and he's actually looking for his brother. Ah. Thunk, this is Rumshu. Uh. Rumshu sticks his hand out for a handshake. Thunk goes to grab it, and, and Rumshu pulls up and swipes his hair back, his his little ponytail he has. He doesn't have any actual hair. Just... Oh, dear. 
Oh, he's not gonna like that. Oh, he's gonna rage <laughs> on him. Oh, it's gonna get ugly. Hide your eyes. <laughs> Dunk just kind of uh, crosses his arms. Right, so, um, uh, so, well, we're gonna go find my brother, right? That's what this whole thing's about, right? Yeah, do you have any idea where he might have gone? Uh, no, no. That's a good start. Maybe he's in Waterdeep. All right, Waterdeep it is, then. I guess that's, yep. that makes sense. I'll, I'll bet he'd go there. Yeah. He sure would. What the fuck is his brother like? Uh, his brother's name is Clunk, and he plays a lyre, which she points at the musical instrument that's uh, tied to Thunk's side. Yeah. She points to the musical instrument, and it's a lute. Lute, not lyre. Close enough. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh. I had a 50 50 shot, and I blew it. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I know a couple musicians there. Maybe they've seen a liar oh, wow. gnome person. Ooh. Loose person. You know, do you ever hear the song that he used to sing? What song? It was like about, you know, a song that was lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was something about memories. Have I ever heard it? Nah, no, wrong me. Oh, God. Thunk is the key check. to lost song of Fad Delver. <laughs> We're looking for the lost dog. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. No, never heard of it. Yeah, I don't think it's quite gotten that far south when I was there, but maybe now. Maybe maybe it's traveled now. Oh, I was like really far south. When, when you... West. So that get... far west. Oh, okay. Which way is that? West. Aelin will point. All right, yeah, I guess um, I'll take that corner there. He just go, sets up a little bedroll in the corner. <laughs> um, I will effectively spend most of my time in this room. I'm going to try and throw up the dome and see how it works. So I'm going to put the spell description in the chat okay. for you, Grizz, and you can tell me how it works. Does it say anything about the the space it needs. It just says that it's ten foot radius and it's immobile. I'd say yes because it says Creatures and objects within the dome, when you cast the spell, can move freely th through it. So if you cast it, I would assume, even if it encompassed some walls, because when you okay. casted it, it was in that area, so the walls would stay sure. in that area. So I'll spend most of my time here. Um, on the journey, I would kind of like to feel around the crew and get their opinions on Flynn. Um, and see if they like him, what he does right and what he does wrong in being a captain. Um, because Ivan's not an idiot, and he doesn't know that much about being a captain, and even though he hates Flynn, he would like to learn some. Okay, so that you're doing this all on your first day? Just all throughout the journey, as we okay. go. You said that that night you were going to do spying? That night, um, yeah. I'm basically just going to cast Invisibility on Aelin. Mm -hmm. And okay. inspire her, to, in case she wants to lockpick anything. Awesome. Wow. This, uh... Okay. So what I want from Aelin is a stealth check with, with advantage. advantage for being invisible. Not that I think that you'll need it. 28. 28. Nice. And Aelin, what kind of what kind of things are you looking for? Uh, Aelin is first going to do a once around the ship going from bottom to top. Uh, looking to see if there's how many locked uh, passages or doorways there are, and then, uh, and then when she gets up to 
the deck. Because I think she's only been on the Night Link once before, and that was quite, like years and years ago. And she's, yeah, just taking account of what is locked where and going up to the very top, uh, even going up to the crow's nest if it is not occupied. Okay. Um, when you go to look out, up at the crow's nest, you would see someone at the top. Um, it's your choice whether you still want to climb up there or not. Nah, she's not going to chance that. Um, but instead, she will head down to what she believes could be... <sighs> the closest locked room towards the, uh, towards the galley. So you're just kind of, like, touching every door handle and, like, jimmying it? Yeah. Just kind of doing a check to see if it opens with ease or if there's resistance. Okay. Roll me a sleight of hand check. Oh, that's bad. Five. Okay. You have the inspiration if you want it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if it's what, that low, it's not going to help. Yeah. You try and carefully jimmy this first doorknob. And it is unlocked, and you jimmy a little too much, and the door starts to creak open. Roll me another stealth check. As you hear somebody yeah. inside. Um, 16. They, uh... Where, where do you try to hide? I know you're invisible, but... No. Uh, does the door climb. swing open into the room, or outward into the hall? Into the room. All right, then she is just going to press up against uh, the side of the wall, being crouched down low on the side with the hinges. Okay. And you watch as this, uh, this woman comes out and, like, what the hell? And starts kind of peeking both ways, doesn't see anything, and she's like, Shitty freaking doors. Shuts shuts it and goes back into the room. Um, I would say if you're just looking for locked doors, uh, the doors that you find that are locked are the captain's quarters, um, a few cabins, um, like maybe two cabins, and uh, where you would assess the brig might be. There's like a big wall that goes at the very bottom of the ship, a big wall that separates the very rear end from the rest. And there's um, locked doors there. All right. Yeah, she's going to. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm torn between going two places. Roll me a perception check. 21. You can hear the muffled of uh, the mufflings of someone talking on the other side of the doors of the brig. All right. Yeah, then she'll. She's going to try to open the door. Unlock the door for the brig. Oh, okay. Uh, my camera moved. Uh, roll me a... Uh, do you have thieves' tools on you? Yes. Okay, roll me a thieves' tool. Uh, I think we already set it up, unless it asks you. If it queries, let me know. You would use dex if it does. Yes. Ah, oh, now I'm going to use my inspiration. I think on the nat one it always fails, right? Isn't that how we've right. it? Right. Yeah, I think right. Only for attacks. Only Skill for checks attacks. don't matter for yeah, nat ones. And ten crits. is low for a locked brig door. <laughs> you start to uh, take out your thieves' tools and start to try and unlock the door. Um, you hear the voice stop. 
Um, They'll freeze. Baka. <gasps> inside this this brig, um, your captor is alerted to something. Uh, oh my god. Um, oh shit, it shows the name. I shouldn't have done that yet. Oh well. Oops! <laughs> um, I need to be able to see her to do the thing I want to do. Um, I think. Let me double check it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, she doesn't know who it is, so she would, like, go to the bars and grab and look at the door. This. Um. This hobgoblin with these big mutton chops um, looks uh, in an eye patch because, you know, pirate. <laughs> Everybody has one. <laughs> uh, looks over to you and says, Don't say a word. Gotta backs away from the, from the bars, fearing what he will do to her. Um, and tries to reach out but can't because she can't see <laughs> who it is she's trying to reach out to. He hefts the spear that he's was has kind of been just holding by your cage um, to his side and starts to go toward the door with it poking at the uh, the handle. And then he, he reaches to unlock the door. Aelin, what are you doing as you see the doorknob start to move? All right, she is going to. She's going to slip off to the side of the door, the one so that if it opens, she'll be able to hopefully slip it in. Uh, but it's, she is going to reach into uh, her bag and she's going to pull out. I would say a couple arrows and she's gonna as soon as the door starts opening she's gonna throw them down the hall to make noise so you're throwing a couple arrows down the hall to make noise like distract yeah okay um yeah you toss some arrows this is before he opens it you're saying uh no Holy. when the door Okay. Yeah, before the door is open fully. So uh, okay. when it's just cracked part. open, then throw the arrows. And then she'll uh, get ready to hopefully slip inside undetected. Okay. Um, so uh, the door slips open, or begins to open. You throw the arrows. It makes a clattering noise. You watch the door uh, forcefully open faster as he heard the noise, and he comes out spear first. You see, go past your face. Um, he looks left, and he looks right, right toward you. And then he keeps going forward toward the arrows. Slip into the room. She's going to slip into the room and kind of tuck herself into a corner. She's not touching the door. She doesn't want to uh, alert behind her, behind the guy. Okay. Um, in here is two cages, uh, only one currently occupied. Uh Baka, would you like to describe what they see? Mind you, you don't have your items like yes. on hand. Yes. But... Um, yeah, she would not have her items. Um, so you see a female form, um, strangely beautiful. Her like her face is very sh like cheeks are sharp looking and chins sharp looking. Not like uh, physically, but you know, you know they what I mean. Like um, they look like you. Yeah, they look me. Um, no. Um, you can see she has long brunette hair that kind of, and she has bangs that go right to her brow. Um, and the pointed ears, so you can 
assume she's half elven. Uh, they're shorter pointed uh, rather than the typical longer ones you'd see on full elves. Um, at least of elven descent in some way. And her eyes, though they have like bags under them, probably from some kind of exhaustion. Um, the she's looking around mostly at the door, and you can see the pupils are um, abnormally large and like very deep black, like you could almost get lost in them. Um, as she's looking at the door, and she kind of keeps weirdly smiling and like pulling her lips back as she does so, which looks very strange. Um, yeah. That is my character. In, and she's probably wearing probably like a makeshift dress from maybe an old sale they took down. Um, probably not her normal clothes, I'd assume. Session 20.5. Oops, all half elves. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So yeah, she's like, she's at the bars again, looking out the door to see who could have been out there. Now you don't see any. Roll me a perception yeah. check. All right, let's see. That's a better way. To put Again, it. I made another character with bad perception because that's how I do. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. So you don't see that happen. You don't see somebody come into the room. Um, Aelin, once inside, what do you do? All right. Well, she sees a person that's obviously imprisoned and female and looking very haggard oh she is not a happy person uh how far if she peeks out the door how far away is that guard uh the guard is at this point um 10 feet down the the hall there's storage lining so there's like the whole middle row row is a bunch of storage crates and stuff and barrels are on both sides so there's like these two lanes that go all the way down this bottom uh bottom deck um he's like 10 feet down that lane uh on the right lane um he uh is getting close to where you threw the arrows at this point All right, uh, Aelin is going to go up near the cage and she's going to pull out s some paper and just uh, write on it, uh, keep quiet, my name is Allie, do you need help? And she'll slide the paper under the bars with a... Uh, with the charcoal that she wrote with uh, on top of it. Okay. Yeah, Miri, this this little note just uh, appears in front of you. <laughs> uh, she goes to pick it up and reads it. Um, and as she's shaking her head, yes, uh, she also and writes... That's, uh, Aelin, you noticed that the, uh, the man, the big hobgoblin, has turned around and is coming back toward the door. Yeah, she goes to write something and then just, like, puts it away in her, in her dressing, uh, so that she doesn't get caught with it. Mm hmm You would judge that you have to leave now if you want to get yeah. out before the door shuts again. Yeah, Aelin will dash dash uh, out before the guy gets inside. <clears throat> uh, where were we? That's what he says to you. Yeah, just backed <laughs> up to the wall again. <laughs> All right, to stay and... out of the length of his spear that's been keeping her awake. Alright, and Aelin is going to head back over to Ivrin. Hmm. And how can she, how long does invisibility last? For one hour. You're probably cutting it. Alright. Okay, yeah, she'll head back over to their cabin room. 
and uh, meet up with Ivern and we'll tell him they have they have a woman in the in the brig as she looks absolutely exhausted and looks like she's been there for a long time we need to Ivern kind of <sighs> jumps not knowing that an invisible person is walking to the dome <laughs> Uh, okay. That's sad, I guess. Yeah. Um, I, I guess that's a potential ally, maybe, but I we can't spring a, a prisoner. There are so many people around. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, right now, uh, there's only a couple of cabins that are locked, as well as, uh, captain's quarters and I think I need to make an appearance as Allie to see if I can gauge the reaction of some of the crewmates that were around before well we should definitely check out the captain's quarters mm -hmm. um if you need I, I mean nothing's better than going at night but if you need a distraction I can always, I can... you know, go play. Well, I figure I could be the distraction. And if we're close enough to his quarters, I can try to unlock the door with my little magic hands. Right. That's like fingerless. Um, yeah. Yes, magic What did you call fingers. it? Fingies? Mag <laughs> What the fuck are finkies? They wouldn't get it. That's sad joke. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, that should be our our priority, I guess. Is I mean, try and find out why she's. You know, what? I'll do it. I'll find out why she's why she's in the break. Um, I'll talk around tomorrow, see what I can find out. And uh, yeah, we gotta get in that captain's quarters. See what see what's in there. Yeah, I didn't want a chance going in there tonight because odds are he's got some work to catch up on. Right. But yeah, there are a few faces around here that I definitely recognize. Well, um, I'm sorry if it's a little. You know, traumatic. It's sort of the best I could do. No. Time I just wish this ship was in any other hands other than Flynn. I mean, we could try and take it if you want. Hmm. Are you kidding me? There's like. There's, there's like 25 of them. I think you're forgetting that you killed a dragon there, Rumshu. I killed one dragon. There's 25 people over there. None of them have killed a dragon. What do you know? Because they didn't even react. They reacted to when I said that a dragon attacked. Flynn was real sketchy about it. Real sketchy. You're probably the strongest one here. I mean, that's kind of a given, but... <laughs> No one uh, can stand up against you, little buddy. Right. Uh, by the way, she will pull out the rapier and that was handed to her and hold it out to him. It didn't really get used in the Underdark much, so... Ah. Here. Um, you can keep it if you want. Yeah, I mean, if it's, you're sure. It's great and... It, the cutlass really suits my aesthetic, you know, but I... I mean, these are my real form of offense. I hold up the deck. Alright, if you're sure. Thanks. If you die, I'm taking it back, but it's fine for now. Speaking of which, if I die, and she's gonna take out the compass, do not let Flynn get a hold of this. Uh, I'd sooner see it broken to pieces than him getting this. For a compass? No, it was, it was Jack's Jack. compass. Yeah. 
Oh, so it's just sentimental? Yeah, that, that's fine. I won't let him take it from you. Well, it's also got some weird magic quality to it. She's going to open it up. Now that they're on the night link, what's it doing? Uh, it's pointing southwest. See, it doesn't really point north. It's pointing southwest. What good is the compass that can't point north? I know this one. <laughs> Where does it point? Uh, Jack once told me that it pointed her to where she needed to go. But that's it. That's all she told me. So you need to head southwest. I don't know. Well, that's a bunch of islands down there, but that's away from the Sword Coast. Mm hmm. All right. She'll close the compass and put it back in her bag. So, yeah, if I die, smash this to pieces or take it for yourself, please. Oops. Mind if I give it a try? She'll pull it back out and hold it out to him. I take it. I open it. Where's it point? Southwest. I don't know it why you guys keep asking southwest? this. <laughs> That's away from Waterdeep. Huh. I guess it's the same for both of us. Wait! Let's just take a ship and we'll go that direction. That's probably where Valiata is, right? And the mirror. Well, it's been pointing that direction ever since before we even got to Iron Gate. Why did no one tell me this? We could have just sailed straight there! <laughs> Why did we even fuck around with Flynn? Because we don't even know if this is even related to anything. For all we know, this is pointing to where her mum is. This is where we need to go, right? That was the That's the preface of the compass. We need to kill this fucking dragon cult leader shit so that the whole world can be saved. Why did no one tell me shit about this? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work properly anymore. Uh, uh, so I learned a lot when on the ship and I learned that it takes a whole lot of people to to make it go. So I don't think there are four of us could do that. Oh, never mind that. Hold the compass. Oh. Oh, actually, I have it, so I'll hand it over to him. Okay. <laughs> I look over, where is it pointing? <laughs> I'll slap oh. his hand when he tries to pocket it. Oh, okay. Uh, it points northwest. Uh, uh, southwest, sorry. Southwest. You motherfuckers. This all could have been avoided. We could have got this shit done weeks ago. Ooh. Y'all gotta include me on your shit next time, I swear to God. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry for not relaying a potentially defunct magic item uh, that points one direction for reasons that we still don't really know. Listen, she... I'm not going to say that I'm mad. I'm just a little hurt. That's all. I'll take the compass <laughs> back off of Rumshu and hand it back to Aelin. He, like, struggles to, like, hold on to it. I'll eventually lets it, it go. He eventually lets it go, but he doesn't want to. <sighs> okay. All right. Fuck the mutiny. Let's just we'll deal with the with the snooping tomorrow. Okay. So this is uh. You guys would know that you have roughly. <sighs> it took four days to get from. Neverwinter, or from Waterdeep to Neverwinter, right? Let's double check that. It took that. five days to get from Waterdeep to Neverwinter on our shitty B-list boat. Right. Okay, so it's going to take you close to like a 10-day 
a whole week of sailing to get back to water deep. So, mm -hmm. in the interest of time, um, what do you guys do? And then we'll figure out what things need to be RP'd out. Do you want to go All first? Right. Sure. Uh, Aelin is going to be every using up her spells to uh, disguise self to just change her hair color to look like Allie uh, to just kind of walk around and observe the reaction of the uh, older crew members. And she will actually go over she will be asking Flynn if there is anyone in the in the brig. Okay. So first, you get mixed mixed messages. You uh, so you get a you get some whistles, some cat call whistles <laughs> because they're sailors and they're terrible people. Um yeah. second, totally get it. You get Totally get it. Um well they're pirates, sorry. Let me clarify. Yeah. It's not s sailors aren't bad people. Pirates. <laughs> Folks at sea that haven't seen a fresh set of legs in a while. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and then um, there is um, some people who seem almost nervous that there's a woman on the ship. But I think they are, yeah. It's like a superstition kind of thing. Um, but you get the Flynn and um, ask him about the brig. I think that's one thing that has to be roleplayed out. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So you have anyone down in the brig? So you went snooping around there, love, did you? You expect me not to? Well, I thought we had an accord, but... um. I didn't disturb anything. I just wanted to look around. So... But now that you've seen it. Well, I only heard voices coming from the brig area. I'm curious. Roll me a deception check. Deception. 27. Oh, that's good. Oh, Hell I, now I have to pull up his stats because he rolled a 19. Let me see what his stats are. stats dude oh yeah i put them at the top because I, I have a plus eight in deception and that makes me happy inside oh okay you rolled under so um keep keep going you were deceiving him that you only heard yeah i only heard voices and if usually if there's no one in the brig no one needs no one would be talking Look, I don't know how your friend with the stupid hat did things on his ship, but, uh... How about you keep your nose in your own business? And here's the thing. I can't. I can't just not. So, how about you tell me, or I go walk down there right now and crack open that door? Won't do you any good. Why? What would crack and open the door do? All the crew knows about her. Who is her? Do you want your book you're looking for? Not personally. A whole lot of effort for a book that you don't want.
Do you want that mirror? <clears throat> I do. And uh, as soon as we stop in Waterdeep, our next stop is cutting them off. So I'll have it one way or another. If you want to join us on this ride, you play by my rules. I think you've already figured out by now that I really don't like you, Flynn. No, and also... And also, what rules do pirates really use? Hmm? Maybe you'll soon learn. Oh, and by the way, when we get to Waterdeep, I have some friends I need to meet. I'd advise you not to tag along with me. If you want to avoid going back to that little prison of yours. Sure thing. She's oh, going to walk away chat. from him. Yeah, she's going to just walk away from him and uh, head over to... Uh, I keep forgetting what that guard was. <clears throat> the it was one in the... Hobgoblin. The, ba hobgoblin? In the bottom floor? Bottom deck? Yeah. By the break? Yeah, he was a hobgoblin. Okay, cool. So Aelin will just leave him alone and then... Uh, a few days later, uh, she's going to, just from observing the habits of the crew, seeing if anyone brings him meals. Uh, yeah, roll me a, um, are you kind of, yeah, um, this wouldn't be that hard to do. I'm not going to make you roll anything. Uh, yeah, okay. you see that, uh. It looks like people are bringing him meals, but he does leave every once in a while and switch out with uh, another crewmate um, on occasion. So sometimes he's brought meals, sometimes he switches out with another. All right. So at one point, yeah, at what point she is going to kind of wait for the transition to happen and then she is going to uh, cast sleep on uh, at one of the prison guards that are switching out like not the hobgoblin but I don't know if there's a another human <clears throat> she's going to okay. be trying to cast sleep as soon as they Kind of go in. Sure, that's, that's, uh, I want to read the rules for sleep really quick. He's okay, pulling up the old it. bandit captain stat oh. sheet. Um, that's it for everyone. You start casting sleep uh, as you watch. Um, you're kind of tucked away uh, behind like a barrel in the bottom deck as mm -hmm. they're switching out. Uh, you cast sleep uh, on old uh, ugly mug, um, <laughs> and you watch as he slowly drifts, plonks his head on the uh, floorboards. All right. And is the uh, the brig door locked or no? 
uh, you run up to the door. Uh, yeah. Give me the handle. It is locked. Thieves tools. Okay. Thieves tools. Duh. Ivorin, would you have known about this plan? I feel like you guys probably... Yeah, uh, she would have told uh, Ivorin about her plan. Sure. Okay, so Ivorin, what are you doing during this? Because we're kind of trying to... We were kind of going through like a fast forwardy kind of thing, so... Okay, That's so... Uh, the god was outside of the door? Yeah, the outside, the, outside door. the door. So, okay. we'll say Aelin waited for a day when the Hobgoblin got impatient and left a little early for his his lunch. Okay. So, she managed to catch them at a opportune time. Okay, so there is just one guard, and he's currently clocked out outside the door, and Aelin's fiddling with the yep. lock to get in. And she does. She clink gets it on her first try. Okay. Fuck. Um. What am I gonna do here? Uh, he's gonna wake up. Yeah, you guys have got like forty more seconds of sleep. Shit, I don't know. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, so she'll say the plan is to uh, get the girl out and get her to uh, the cabin, and uh, Aelin will disguise herself as the girl. Okay, so you want to do a swapsy doo Yeah, swapsy doodle I can handle a swapsy doodle uh, As soon as we go in, invisibility on my new friend. Guys, I'm here too. Why are you here? I don't, I just wanted to be part of the fun. So you're gonna uh, you're gonna swap out with her. Yeah. Okay. I don't so remember why, but we're doing it. Are you gonna be able to pretend to be her for the rest of the week? Well, I'm assuming that this is like day day like, eight or nine. Yeah, this is like a couple more days. So. <laughs> You're gonna be able to build disguises her for the next couple of days, and then at the end you're gonna be like, "Surprise! There was me." Perfect. I love it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you here? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so, Aelin will uh, cast her mage hand to start unlocking the uh, cage door with with her thief stools. Okay. Um, perfect. Yeah, roll it. Okay, Who's invisible uh... right now? <laughs> you're about to be invisible. Yeah, you're about to be invisible. Okay. Did you come? All right, uh... Okay, yeah, you're not discussed this. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what's yeah, going on. <laughs> so, Aelin is currently breaking you out of yeah. the break. I just didn't know who was invisible, who was disguised. Ivan <laughs> is standing in the doorway, like, watching yeah. the goblin that is, um... Okay. Unconscious. Mm -hmm. There we go. 20 for unlocking the cage door. Okay. You guys have got maybe 20 seconds. You, whatever you are, come with me. <laughs> Bam, invisible. Where? Okay. Where's Miri's things? Miri needs her things. Okay. Uh, I am Allie. I wrote you a note before. Uh, I will get your things. Go with Ivor and he is his friend. We don't have time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> She'll follow. Uh, she'll and Aelin will cast disguise self and pull jump, uh, shove jump Vera in. out of shove, shove Vera's out of the cage and pull the cage Mary. jump in mirror pull go inside the cage pull the cage close and uh, disguise self is activated and she's gonna kind of sit in the corner uh, gather up whatever things and just kind of look wide-eyed and rock in the corner. I will... What am I doing? I can't, <laughs> I can't grab this person. I'll beckon for them to come out, I'll wait two seconds, and then I'll mage hand the door shut. Okay. Who knows if they get out. Um, and then we'll start booking it down the 
hallway. Uh, does he look like he's about to get up? Uh, yeah. You got... This guy's south. Okay. I'm going to look like Flynn. Okay. Um, so I want Miri to roll me a stealth check <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> this is wild. I have um... roll me a performance check. Oh, yay. Yeah. <sighs> Great. 15. Okay. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> this goblin uh, begins to wake. It's like rubs his eyes and looks up and sees you and jumps to attention. I turn and I like lower down real close, but far away. Just like kneel down where I am and I'll say, don't let me catch you sleeping on the job again. Love. And I'll just walk out, back out real quick. Sorry, boss. Nothing. I'm not saying again. Where going. And I don't. I'll turn the corner. I don't know where the fuck this person is. So I'll just drop the disguise. You hear. As you get to the stairs to go up, you hear. Um. You hear and see Rumshoes leaned up against the like the top of the stairs. He's like rubbing his nails against his shirt and looking at him. He's like waving his hand in front of his, his nose. I wouldn't go down there. <laughs> uh, uh, that's... The, the bathroom isn't there. You fucking go somewhere else. <laughs> and I will. I'll just drop the disguise. And I'll just like very, very jauntily like walk back out. Um, and I will point sli slight of handily towards Rumshu, and I'll say, F "Follow him!" And I'll 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 just go up onto the fucking deck, and I'll say, "Whoa, you guys are so unhappy! Here, look at me while I play a song!" And I'll pull out the violin, and I'll just start going. And you did drop your distract. disguise. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm somewhere else. I'm here. Hi. I'm Miri. Hi. Uh, I think you're supposed to follow me. Okay. That's right. He leads you back to their their little cabin. Um, everyone plays a song for a few m minutes. Aelin sits locked in a cell. Fun times, everybody. Technically, uh, she didn't relock the cell. I th she just closed the door, so I don't know how I don't know how cages work. So it's it will say <laughs> it, it was a lock, work. so like an actual like a you know a padlock only. It's not padlock back then. It's called whatever. So you can relatch it if you want, or you can just if you want to try and get it as close as possible to looking like it's locked without it actually physically locking. I'll allow that too, but you got to roll me a sleight of hand check to see if you accidentally uh, lock it. Nah, she'll she'll just lock it. She just shuts she it and leaves the lock yeah. on the ground. Uh, yeah, she'll. Okay, yeah, she'll relock it. Okay, you just relock um, it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 <sighs> Guys, <laughs> it's not the this way. Is, I'm. Before we really get to meet Miri, this is big Miri energy, and I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Perfect way so. to introduce her. <laughs> A few minutes pass. Ivrin, I assume you go back to the cabin. Yep. Okay, what do you do? Um, so I want to say, um, before all this has happened, in the week, I've been hanging around Flynn an awful lot, and also talking to the crew an awful lot, and attempting to charm them. So hopefully they don't think what I've done is too out of whack. Um, and I'll go back to the, to the cabin... Um, I look around, do I see Rumshu? Oh, uh, yeah, he's in there. Okay. Dome. No, I'm quick casting it, it'll take a minute. So... Who are you? Where are you? I'm Miri. I'm right here. Oh, shit! Fuck! I just right behind you. Hi! Great. Um, I'm sorry. A very Aelin strange didn't... smile with the lips pulled back, too. Aelin didn't tell me why you were locked in a cage this whole time, and I don't know if you if you did something good or bad, so I, I'm really just trusting in her that you're not going to kill me 
and all of my friends mm. in my sleep. Muriel, think about it. Fantastic. Sorry. This is probably joking. Right? Maybe. Are okay. you mean to Miri? Well, I think that depends on if you try and stab me or not. That depends if you're going to be mean to Miri. Great. Um, so tell me why you were down there and why my friend um, decided to risk her life to bust you out. I don't know why she helped. Um, maybe it's because um, the captain likes me. He thinks I'm cute, what? maybe. I genuinely cannot tell if you're being serious or not. Just smile. <laughs> that very strange smile. I'm having a really hard time with this one. Hey, where's Ellen? Okay. <laughs> Rumshu, you were right there. I was telling you to go, and you wouldn't go, and I thought you saw everything, because you only went after everything had fucking right, happened. That's right. She said that plan to trade places with this person who might or might not kill us while we're yep. sleeping. Who are, who are the two low ones? And you, who are you? Right. This is... Punk. And also, this is... Introduce yourself. Spitshine. Spitshine. Um, and I am... Fennel. That's good. Are they, are they yours? They sure are. That's oh. exactly right. They're mine. I own them. Just I like your hat. Look. <laughs> Thank you! You know what? No one said they like the hat yet. Can so I, I have it? That actually means no. Oh. Not at all. Hmm. Can Miri sleep now? She hasn't slept in days. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, We're okay, going to have yeah. to hide her, though. <laughs> oh, they can't see through the dome, and they can't get in through the dome. So she's fine. Okay, how long As long does as I that? remember to put up the dome. Eight hours. Okay. Cool. Mir just passes out. <laughs> How? Oh, never mind. Dear God, what has she gotten us into? I don't know. I cannot now leave this dome. I've been trying to sweet talk my way into the captain's ear and be friends with all the crew, and now I physically cannot leave this dome for the rest of the trip. Great. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna get back. We're gonna set this person free, and then don't know whether we. Are. Dear God. So. You want to take first watch on the potential murderer? I have something to bring up. How long does this guy's self yeah. last for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm already way ahead of you. Did you okay. cast it or did you use a disguise kit? I can't remember. Either way, you wouldn't have had time to use a disguise kit, so it had to have been disguised self. It lasts for eight hours. No, it lasts one hour. <laughs> yeah, the disguise self lasts for only like an hour. What am I thinking of? I think of something else. Your hut? No, I thought it was a disguise one. It doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> so one hour on the disguise. Hell yeah. Okay, so this was a big thing, <laughs> so we're going to skip a little bit of time, but not very long. We're going to skip an hour. <laughs> Aelin, we'll, we'll skip like, you know, 55 minutes. Aelin, what do you want to do? As you probably at this point realize you've put yourself in a locked cell with a spell that's going to wear off in, you know, five-ish minutes. You're muted. All right, thank you. Um, but yeah, the one who is currently guarding her is the ugly mug, right? Yep. And uh, what is ugly mug doing while he's uh, guarding? Uh, they're all under a ten. He's sleeping. Okay, um, he's just looking at you, and he's like, uh, 
He's just staring you down. Just... All I'm right. getting tired of looking at your ugly face. I really am. I wish I could just... Do something. Just change right, that Aelin's... ugly mug of yours. You want to know Aelin's head is gonna down? tilt to the side. It's like... What if you saw a familiar face? Pens? Why are you asking? And sh she'll kind of grin. And she's going to actually recast Disguise Self and look like Jack. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to be able to do that. He, uh, he hoists the, uh, the spear. Aelin's going to stand up, looking like Jack, and she's going to just kind of lean up against the wall, copying her movements, and she's going to give a smirk. <sighs> Don't you remember me, Mug? I know you're not real. This is one of the tricks. I know you got tricks. They tell me you have tricks. Oh, I got a lot of tricks. Tricks from beyond the grave. Because guess what, Mug? I'm dead. I know you're dead. We, we threw you overboard. Oh, no, no. I got off that miserable sandbar you left me on. I know you're not Jack. Aelin will pull out the compass. I'm not. Yeah. Roll me a... Uh, no. Did, yeah, you gave it back. Roll me a... um, Deception. Deception? Alright. I think that warrants one. 21. Let me see that. He kind of sticks the spear through, expecting you to hook it on to the end motioning oh and why would I give you this you really Jack then that compass would prove it I need to see it all right Aelin is gonna step forward purposely going up against the spear and she's going to hold out the compass by its uh, chain so that it can go into his hand, but she's not going to let the chain go. Remember, it doesn't point north. He, like, lets one hand off of the spear and reaches forward with the other to grab this compass. Are you going to give it to him or are you planning on something? Uh, she is going to let him put a hand on it, and then she is going to grab the spear and jab and kind of jab him with it. We're going to do a uh, contested athletics checks to see if you're able to grab the spear from him. This is the start of another mutiny. 15. Okay. You grab onto the spear, tug, but he jumps back puts both hands on the spear and gets ready. I knew you was tricking me. And I said you had tricks. Just, she's gonna grin and it's like, ah, you're always the quicker one, Mug. Not falling for it. Any more faces you turn into, I won't believe it. I know what's under there. She's going to toss him the compass. I'm not buying it. Where's it's all it some hallucination in my brain. Where's it pointing, Mug? Um, that way. It means that something you need is down over there, ain't it? I don't think so. 
You should know, Mug. Right. Well, I'm just going to put this over here. And he uh, walks to the corner uh, where there's this chest, opens it up, and you roll me a perception check. All right. About how far away is it? Um, This place isn't that 21. big. It's like 10 feet from you, maybe. All right. Perfect. Uh, you see, uh, you see as he opens it, there's like a shining, uh, glimmer off of like a, um, not a harp, but a leer, correct? A, a liar? Is that? Liar, yeah. A liar and some other trinkets in there. And he places it in the chest, shuts it. Aelin will lean up against the bars and reach her hands through and give a very slow clap. Wow, Mug, you got the compass away from me. Sticks his fingers in his ear. Not listening. I'm not listening. And uh, that's where you're going to sit for a while. <laughs> okay. Eventually, you hey. turn back into Aelin. Um, but... Uh, Old, uh, sorry, not old mug. Um, ugly mug. Pays you no mind. Just goes, la, 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 la. So has he even noticed that she changed faces? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, anyways. Ivrin, unless you have a plan t that you're going to hatch in the next three days of <laughs> sailing before you get to Waterdeep, we get to Waterdeep. Oh, fuck, Grace. Um, I can't trust this random person. Um, Fair. <laughs> okay, so up to this point, um, I've been shadowing Flynn as best I can. And I've been talking to the crew and trying to win them over um, in the hopes that they may grow to like me uh, and also I may try and learn things about the ship that, that that they aren't telling us, maybe? Okay, so you're just trying to learn about the ship? Yeah, but I also want to try and make them like me, so it'll be harder for them to kill me if they have to. Okay, so you're trying to get the crew to like you. Mm -hmm. And, and also, learn technically Flynn. Information about the ship. Is there a I also, um, oh, I'll tell you in a bit. Never mind. We'll do this first. Okay. Uh, roll me, a perf uh, roll me a, perf a general charisma check. We'll do to see how much people will like you. Um, that's a natural 20, baby. Ooh, baby you know, boy. You, you get, these are your kind of people. You get along fairly well with them. Um, hell yeah. Is it enough to, you know, get them to join your side it, just from a couple of days of chatting? Probably not. But surprisingly, for a bunch of people who shouldn't like you at all, mm -hmm. they sort of do. <laughs> That's that ivory and charm. Um, I'm also going to learn as much about being a pirate captain as I can from Flynn. Um, and while I'm there, I'm going to ask him about the mutiny with Jack. I want to know why it happened. Jack was an idiot. Well, you call a lot of people idiots, including me, which mm -hmm. is half is half fair. You know what? I'll give it to you. It's half fair. But why specifically this person? Just following a broken compass around. We hadn't seen a score in months. Coffers started getting dry. And I just thought I could do a better job. And you know why we should follow in a broken compass. Yeah, had some ironic idea that 
the compass led, would lead her to great treasures and all it ever led us to was crap. Plus this ship. She's a beaut, isn't she? Well, you know, I gotta admit it's one of the better ones that I've seen. Points for style, too. Midnight blue. Who would have thought? That was Jack's idea. Maybe the one thing she did. Right. And that's to help stealth along in the night? I guess it. So what? She just killed her? Effectively. Well, I, I gotta ask, you know, not that it's not, that you're not a very ch charismatic person, but how did you get all this lot to trust you and follow you after you betrayed the main person? It wasn't too hard to convince people that their leader, who was bringing them no gold, had to be replaced. Not Why all of them joined, you? and those who didn't met their fate at the sea. Why you specifically? No one else offered? He just kind of glares at you. Roll a... What's the right word? A, um... Persuasion check. There's the word. I kept wanting to say perception. <laughs> Persuasion. 23. I love Ivorin so much. I knew of one of the greatest hordes. Well, I would love to know where that would be, but I know better than to ask. How did you find me? How did we find you? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're following this cult of the dragon, right? And we're heading to their, one of their many lairs, and they have a note that details the exchange of one prisoner 626 to Iron Gate. They were looking for you, and we don't know why. So you'll understand how, when I asked why you're holding information out on us as to how you're involved, I might be suspicious that you are. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna pressure you for any of this. Um, and you know, if you're telling the truth, you're telling the truth, right? But we're gonna be running into them. I guarantee it. So if you are holding back any information, it's better that we know. I'd rather have you on our side, killing dragons, than have both of us fighting each other and also killing dragons. I don't know anything about the cult of the dragon, but you said you're after book. Yeah, um, not for me personally. It's more like a friend favor, but yeah. Was it a particularly good read? As far as I'm aware, I mean, listen, I don't know that much about it. Um, I just, you know, I'd like to help these people get what they want. That's all. I don't think that they're bad people. So, you expect me to be forthcoming with you? But you uh, oh, won't extend the favor. Trust me, when it comes to this book, I've got no idea. I don't know much about it at all. Um, I'm really only doing it for our other friend on the ship. Hmm. 
Where is Aelin? Haven't seen her past couple days. Oh, you know, I like to put up the dome for our protection. You can't see in it. You can't um, come through it. That's just how it works. Uh, she's been a little, I don't want to say under the weather. It's just, without her other two, she's been feeling a little down and i don't think that the the older food here no offense is really agreeing with her probably deception <clears throat> 30. oh my god dude okay <clears throat> <sighs> all right well i'll be there in the morrow Say, spend no more than a day in water deep. Oh, trust me, we want to get in and out. Um, these, this person that was taken means a lot, so I'd like to get her back if we can. Trust. Would that suffice for your conversation? With yep, that suffices. Great. So, <laughs> I'm gonna just hide the new person in the dome instruct her not to leave i will smuggle her food um need, miri needs her things and i'm also going to try and talk to aelin at some point how do you uh, manage that <laughs> <laughs> the door's bloody locked and i don't have thieves tools which is really annoying i can't message her i can dimension door in but they'll know uh if Hang on. How does message work? It could go around corners, so it could go through... Could it go through doors? Kind of have to have a general idea of where Ivern is. I think you have to, like, point it in the general direction, if I'm not mistaken, correct? I believe that's what it yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, because it works for about 120 feet. And it can go through, like, uh, a foot of stone, uh, uh, three feet of uh, three feet of wood blocks the spell. Okay, so... I'm thinking. You and it can move around corners. I would say that you, you probably can't send a message spell because, at least not well... Sorry. Ivrin would have to move to the brig door, like, gen general area. Mm -hmm. You would have to know that he's over there. <laughs> yeah. It, it would be very difficult. I don't... It's okay, alright. I, there... I think I'll manage. Roughly. There's no port window in the brig, Definitely right? Definitely not. This is like the lowest okay. deck. It would let water in. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna have to go for it. Then every when... time the ugly mug is uh, in there, she'll just kind of alternatively keep transforming into Jack, looking, and then transforming it into... Uh, Mira, uh, Miri, excuse me, on, um, she doesn't know her name, uh, <laughs> on the odd occasion, and she'll cast Mage Hand to kind of be poking at Ugly Mug and also having the hand go over to the chest every once in a while to try to open it if, or... Uh, every time you go to do that, um, Ugly Mug mm -hmm. stabs you in the stomach. Um, how many times do you attempt? <laughs> <laughs> eh, three times. Okay, so you're going to take... Wow. Uh, 18 uh, piercing damage. And yeah, and each time that she transforms into Jack, she'll just be kind of grinning over at Ugly Mug. He, he like, yeah, he, it doesn't phase him anymore. You've been doing this for like a couple days and now he's just like, uh, can't wait for this to be over. 
Um, so, the, the morning comes, and you see off in the distance uh, the familiar sight to you, Ivrin and Aelin, of Water Deep. Water Deep. Water Deep. Uh, as the ship makes dark, makes port, makes port. Um, what do you guys do? Aelin is going to wait about two hours after they make dock, and she'll just kind of sigh and go, All right, I've had enough. Can you get Flynn down here? Okay. <clears throat> Um, Ivrin, like, sh but yeah, that's been two hours that after. Time? Are you just getting off the boat, or are you trying to figure out the situation? I'm not getting off the boat without Aelin. Okay, <laughs> that's that's period. So Miri's not getting off the, off the boat without her things. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'll get I'll get you your things. Don't worry about it. So you tell Miri um, to stay there. <laughs> I tell Miri to stay there okay. and hide because when I leave the dome, the dome fades. I can hide, she turns visible. I wish you would have told me that when I was busting you out of prison. I couldn't do it then, they kept me awake so I couldn't use spells. How are you doing it now? Because we things? slept for a couple days. <laughs> I'll just go. Um, I'll go down to the, to the brig. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. stay as myself. Um, and so the guard is the guard on the inside or the outside of the door. There's a hobgoblin standing on the outside of the door with Flynn talking to him. Okay. Fuck. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll go up. Um, I'll say, I'll say, you know, hi, um, whatever. And I'll just... I'll very quick small talk to Flynn about how long we have to go and do our thing out there. Be here by midnight tonight, if you can. Take your fucking friend with you. Yeah, sure. Can, can Aelin hear them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, oh, well, it's probably muffled. Um... Did he point back towards the brig? Or... Yeah, back toward the brig. Oh, so he knows that it's Aelin? <laughs> yes. He he's been, he looked in there and saw Aelin in there. Oh, he waved okay. at him. Um, oh, yeah. I You know, she's been missing for a while now. So that's yeah, good to no, know. Just... I'll just like, very quick go fast. Look. I don't think you know what you're getting into with her. The one you freed. So good luck. Look, I'm going to be honest here. Um, I have no fucking idea about anything that anyone's saying. I don't know who she is, what she's doing, what she was caught for. She just said that she had a crush on her. That's it. And honestly, I don't even know where the fuck she went. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm just going to go get Aelin. And I'll just walk past and go and... I'll get Aelin. Yeah puts his hand on your chest to stop you. Don't try anything like this again. We've already gotten the information we needed from her. Whatever. Yeah. Pull another stunt like this. We're kicking you off the ship. I got it. I wasn't on board in the first place. I'll talk to Aelin. Cool. I go in. Hi, Aelin. Hi, Evren. We're going into Waterdeep now. If you'd like to come with. Yeah, I just gotta grab my compass. Okay. And uh, does Ugly Mug unlock the door for her, or is she gonna do it herself? <laughs> <clears throat> Ugly Mug uh, hobbles over and unlocks it. The lock clinks to the ground. The door swings open. 
And Aelin walks over to the chest. Opens it up. <laughs> <A clean box. laughs> Gives you double birds. <laughs> yeah. By the way, by the way, Mug, I am actually Allie. I was Jack's girlfriend. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right. She's going to open up the chest. If, if it's locked, she'll use her thieves tools. You know, she had a lot of girlfriends. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Tron and... is so discontent <laughs> and just chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you go... Yeah, so Aelin's going to take everything out of the trunk and put it in her bag. <clears throat> um... You go over and you start picking things up. You get to the compass. Lynn says, I'll be keeping that. No, you won't. I will. Do you no, want the girl? No, you won't. I don't know where she is. I thought you said that was broken. Am I missing something here? You didn't want it. Just give me the damn compass. I would sooner break this than hand it over to Look, you. Look, you freed a prisoner on my ship. You betrayed my trust. I will hold on to this compass as a form of leverage. You can get it back once our deals are done. You want to set foot back on this ship or not? Sticks his hand out. Aelin has a grip on the compass. She will look at Ivrin. I'll hurry over to her and huddle. <laughs> Two person huddle. And I will say very quietly if the compass points to what he needs the most then surely it should point towards the mirror, which is where Valiata is, which is where the cult is. Worst case scenario, I'll just dimension door into his chamber and take it back. Aelin is going to glare at Ivor and saying, like, trying to make it look like that uh, he said that something that uh, she didn't like is like, She's going to mutter out. I hate you. And she's going to hold out the compass to Flynn. Kind of takes it with a little smirk on his face. Puts it in his pocket. Does a little bit of a slap. Back by midnight. He's going to walk back up to his captain's quarters. As we as we go, uh, I'm gonna walk past him as he goes, and I'm as I go, I'm just gonna say, burning a lot of bridges here for this, and I'm just gonna keep walking. All right. As soon as, yeah. So Aelin has all of uh, Miri's things as well, and uh, she is going to once she is off the boat, like. She's just making a beeline to leave the boat. She's like, she's going to leave Ivrin to go and get her. Miri, assuming Miri is with us or not. Yeah, I will go and get Funk and Rumshoe and then leave <laughs> with, with Aelin. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all of you leave. Uh, Where are you going? Keep in mind, Harpers did request you show up. Just reminding yep. you. <laughs> yeah. Aelin's making a beeline that. for a head. Yeah, Aelin's making a beeline for headquarters. She's just walking fast. She just wants to get this over and done with. She is not a happy camper. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with. Uh, what do you do with um, Miri, Rumshu, and Thunk? I don't know where Mary is. I'm gonna take uh, it only lasts for a minute, so I assume she's just sitting on the bed when you got back, because that was quite a long conversation you guys had. Yeah. Wait, what? I thought you could go invisible! I can, it doesn't last long. I can do it again if you need. Yeah! Do it, it when we leave! <laughs> Did you get my things? Yes! 
We did. Um, Aiden's not here. Fuck. Drop the invisibility for a second. That's the last time I can do it then. And she drops it. That's fine. Invisibility. It lasts for an hour. Thanks. Mine's um, greater, but it doesn't last long. <laughs> please follow me. And I will go and meet up with Aelin, and then we'll start leaving. And then when we're in a safe place, I'll just duck into an alley and drop it and allow Aelin to give her back her things. All right. Okay. Aelin will... Yeah, Aelin will hand over all all the things that she got out of the trunk. Liar and, she... and her dagger. <laughs> and her bag. Yeah. It's like, all right. Uh, so now you could just call me Aelin, not Allie. Aelin, thank you. Can I put my dress on now? <laughs> yeah, if you let her, she yeah. full strips down <laughs> and puts her dress in like this uh, uh, blouse that goes to her. Um, what the hell is it called? Halter right. top? Well, is that Aylin, the top part? Yeah, Aylin will help her. her. Head and just swirl it. <laughs> so he's looking away. Yeah, Aylin <laughs> helps her if she needs anything. So, thank you. All right. Where are we going? To talk with a very frustrating person. So back on now, the ship. All right. Um, Mir Miri, was it? Miri, yes. I'm Miri. Right. Miri, there's a chance we'll be going back on that ship. You don't kill have them? to if you don't want to. So we can kill I am, them? I am <laughs> tempted to kill them, but we cannot Miri can kill, them kill them yet. Oh. I don't know that we'll need to, because you gave him the compass, and that's why they mutinied against Jack the first time. <sighs> so, if you let me work my magic and we're there long enough... Yep. You know what? Even when we get back there, I'll even hand, him over, my, hand over my weapons and like tell him like I'll just purposely stay in a room with a guard or something so we can make sure I don't... Do more insane shit! Oh my god, why did I do that? By the Very way, fun. why why were you in the cell? You haven't answered me yet, and I've asked you like six times. Miri in the cell or Aelin? You. Miri. Because he thought I was cute, I told you. What information did he press you for? Mm. Miri knows where things are. What things? Lots of things. Um, shiny things. Uh, he wanted to know uh, how to get to Umberly, though. I like shiny things. Uh, me too. You want to find shiny things together? Yeah. Uh, uh, where should we start looking? People have shiny things a lot. We can okay. look in their pockets. Yeah. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Aelin is going to turn and just kind of slowly bang her head against the wall of the alleyway that they're in. Going Gosh. okay. Listen. Next time um, I try to do something like this, please stop me. Just hit, hit me no, really I think, hard. I think I might. I really think I might. Yeah. If so, you so you know where the mirror is. I don't know where the mirror is. I know where he needs to bring it to get there. You're a liability, but I really want to keep you around now. I really want to stay. You guys are fun. Okay. Are you adventurers? Yeah, somewhat. Can I just say that I love the commitment that Baka is bringing <laughs> to this character? Yeah. yeah. It's great. This is Ivran's worst nightmare right adventurers here. Adventurers find shiny, so Miri will come with. We definitely yeah. do. We get lots. We can get lots of shiny things. Ripcord's going to love you. All right, let's go. Really? Most people do. I can uh, tell. If there weren't, I can put us at them words or go talk to them. Uh, no. <clears throat> no, they're, they're going to stick with us. I need you to do something for me. Okay, that's our. You know where my house is? Yeah. Go there. Make sure Mon Doc got my letter. Okay. And, uh, you know, just... That's like back to where we came from, right? Yeah, sort of. um... Tell them I'll be over later. Just make sure that they're okay for now. Okay. Alan's right. gonna... Well, a, 
While Ivern is talking with Rumshu, Aelin is going to send off a letter to Zorak saying, We arrived in Waterdeep. Uh, we're going to <clears throat> be leaving around midnight. Try to get to the docks if you can. And send that off to Zorag. Okay. Um, give me one second. He just gets so angry he thinks they're flies. Fucking swats them as they come. I would think after ten days he would no longer be in a blind rage. Why do these fucking paper things keep hitting me in the face? <laughs> <laughs> it just sends him into more of a rage every time. Who oh, tossed God. that piece of paper at me? <laughs> And I thought Jack had bad ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna go this murder a village. I'm so pissed. <laughs> Maybe it's I the player. The player know. has bad ideas. Two weeks later, <laughs> Zorag, did you get my paper cranes? Is that what that was? I killed a whole family because that pissed me off. <laughs> this one hit me in the eye. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm fucking blind. Good eye. Eye now. <laughs> it's got two eye patches. <laughs> <laughs> That would be great. That'd be the best way for him to lose the other eye. <laughs> this one got lost in a dragon attack. This one, paper plane. Okay. Now my first it. eye got taken by. <clears throat> so, party, you uh, head to the Harper's headquarters. Is there um, a... you are questioned about your new uh, allies, <laughs> but. I'm Miri. You're given. I will, I will tell them that Zorag ran off um, and Valida was taken. That's what I'll say. <clears throat> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, they let you in to the Harper's lair um, eventually after slight questioning. And uh, you're told to sit in the, uh, the meeting room and wait for. Harper Espy, uh, to to meet you. I'm sorry. Whew. Um, we're gonna cut scenes though. Oh, and follow Rumshu. Um, as he uh knocks on your dad's door, he walk. Well, he walks down the cobblestone streets of uh of water deep and he stops at a stall he sees there's these little clay figures like oh that yeah i need one of those i don't have one of those ones yet. and he trades it for like some silver um or some copper pieces uh, he puts it in his pouch and he uh, waddles down the cobblestone um till he pa he passes a man pushing a cart uh this older Older man in his like forties, I want to say, um, with he's balding, uh, black hair with like skunk stripes uh, almost uh, in his hair. Um, he seems to be kind of asking around for people to sell wines, uh, for people to taste his wines, and he's wheeling off this like cart of um, wine bottles and things down the down the street. Um, Rumshu says. All right, no, no thanks. Um, uh, maybe if I sit around again, I'll, I'll buy some. And he keeps going. Um, till uh, he reaches the door to your parents' house. He gives it a knock. Hello, it's it's Ramsir. Ramsir's here. Uh, I friend's friend. Remember? No response. Arka! Hello! It starts knocking louder. Until somebody comes to the door <laughs> and opens it up. Uh, oh, it's you again. It's good to see you. How is my son doing? Come on in, lad. Come on in. So, uh, they sit down. Uh, Rumshu hands the... Uh, is it a letter you said? I'm sorry, I forgot. Just You just told him to check on. I them. told him to make sure that they got my letter. Oh, got it. Okay. Rumshu says... 
Uh, I've run something to see if you got his. A giant fireball erupts from inside your house. Uh, Tommy. Um, Bro, you just like murked his fucking dad. Make no jokes <laughs> about the condition of my house, Tommy. Make and no now jokes. he's gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna ride that shit Tommy, to the grave. <laughs> your character wheeling a cart of wines down the street. Oops, wrong thing. Of wines down the street sees an eruption go off behind him with a loud concussive wave. What do you do? Uh, holy shit! Uh, oh, no, I just, like, start booking it towards the explosion. Okay. Uh, you start running towards this explosion. Uh, as another <laughs> explodes in the same area. Like the same house, or like... Yeah, same, same relative area. Okay, with that... The debris flies toward your face. You have to block it. Rubble comes crashing at you. Smoke starts to fill the alleyway. I am going to... pull out this... like, big shield I have on my back. And just kind of use it to, like, kind of cover myself as I start pushing on into the debris. Okay. Is anyone in here? Is everyone okay? Uh, roll me a perception check. An 18. Oh, I guess I should change my name there. there you go. see a very... Two very, very charred bodies. Um, there's a... Uh, uh, somebody about your size, you know, like a human size, um, who's just severely charred, and uh, you can make out barely through the black that now covers his body, this little bit of green skin um, of another figure. Like, do they look like there's, like, not even a point in checking a pulse? Um, on an 18, uh, the little one is very bad shape, but could make it. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, kneel down. I'll put my shield back on my back. I know what's going on. Let's do it, baby. Kill me. Uh, and I am just going to reach down and grab him and try to grab the char the charred body to like drag him. And you know I'm just gonna talk to the little ones like I have you little guy you'll be okay you'll be okay just just hold on as let's like try to drag him back out into the alley or back into the street. Okay. Um. Do you chat? Do you have anything to heal him with? Oh, yeah. Um. I would say at the end of your I turn, you stabilizing with a medicine check. I think because it. It. it probably took you all of your movement, like a rush, to get in there. Yeah. I'm gonna roll him a death save. Okay. Okay. You go in there. You grab him. You start dragging him out. All right. Once I get to the alley. I'm going to set him down and I guess try to stabilize him. Okay. Roll me a mess and check. Zero modifier, baby. That's a nat 20. <laughs> yes! Ooh, Tommy! Let's go! You have to keep playing rum shoe. You can't only be thunk. He's so sad. Look at his face. He's so sad. <laughs> he wanted to kill Rumshu. Look at him. <sighs> that would have been a In the comment section. Rumshu. For him to die. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you somehow managed to stabilize this little green uh, figure. Um, 
and you you lay him leaned up against this wall. Uh, what are you doing now? Um, I'm gonna be looking at like commoners. I'm gonna tell them, uh, go and get the town guard. And I'm going to, uh, and then I'm gonna stand up and tell everyone like get back. Okay. Uh, we have people like vacate the area. Roll me a persuasion advantage. Everybody's kind of panicking and not sure what just happened. Uh, 19. 19. Uh, somebody taking charge, they immediately look toward you. Uh, they notice your colors, uh, red and red and yellow, and they. Um, I'll kill a fellow. <laughs> they uh, they know what that means, and they uh, they start to step to the side and out of the way. And there's murmurs between people like, what was it? Did you see what that was? Uh, you know, what could have caused this? That kind of stuff. Um, do you say you were looking for somebody or something? I was, uh, I told one person to go get the guard and I'm oh, telling okay. everyone yeah. else to stay back. Yeah. Uh, that guy that you pointed to, like this orange haired dwarf, um, starts running off the direction of, uh, hopefully the nearest guard. Um, I guess I would just wait till some more guards come by. I'm going to make sure no one's coming into the area and, uh, just kind of stay back from the house for probably, probably a good 20 seconds. And then I will go back in to see if anyone else is in that house. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay, roll me another perception. I guess I could use your 18. I don't know. Am I nice? No. 10. <clears throat> you don't find any additional people. I'll say this time you get closer. Um, to that charred body from before, just to double check. Oh, I drug that body out. Oh, you, the you did. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, even you don't... Though, I mean, I don't think they're... Even though I think they're dead, I'm still going to get them yeah, out yeah, of the yeah. house. Gotcha. So, you pull him out of the house, and uh, you don't see anyone else. All right. Then, at that point, I would just go and stand outside the house and uh, wait for the, the next set of guards to come up and tell them what I saw, you know, help yeah. stabilize <clears> the area. You watch, you know, a, like a group of three um, armored guards start rushing your way and like kind of already have expressions on their face of what the shit just happened. Um, they start yelling at people to to clear the area some more. And um, that's where we'll end tonight's episode. Bastard. Oh so, boy, busted man! I don't think we could handle anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the good thing Zorak is in here because he'd have been like, "Oh, your house is fucked." <laughs> it actually makes I'll, it look better. <laughs> I'll fly to Utah and I'll fucking beat the shit out of you, Tommy. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> so thanks again, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye. Let's keep making stories together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye.